me to the ground now And somehow I feel like you don't know me Shook me to the ground now I don't even know how Brought me to a life that you never showed me Alright, 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 good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome, my name is Resorty, and to you, one and all, I say, hello friends, how's it going, welcome, 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 it's a Wednesday morning here, probably a Tuesday evening where you are, hope things are good for you wherever you are, and welcome to the channel, right, as I'm getting my tie on, a little bit late today, a little late possibly, but it's good to be here with you for sure. Hello to you, Jack4589, thank you for the generous resubscription, my goodness, that much tier 3 intensity, that early in the stream, I don't know what to do with it. Jack, thank you for your kindness, my friend, how is your day going everybody but jack especially jack this special is uh, the stream is specially dedicated to you now twitch.tv slash resorty no twitch.tv slash jack zorty there you go thank you for the generous tier three though friend i hope you're having a good day for sure how's it going cyber oracle it's good to see you today welcome in saucy hello gary you like my tie thank you my shirt's kind of wrinkly isn't it I gotta pull it down like uh jean-luc picard there we go a little wrinkly though, sorry about that. Uh, hello to Gary, hello to Jim, how's it going Yalris? Welcome in Saucy, hello Volo, hello Quick Ben. How's it going today, Odd Blue? Hello Elisadil, Elisadil's here for the sponsored stream. Thank you for your contribution, my friend. Thank you for being here and hanging out with us for sure, especially today. Uh, Jerry Moore, a pleasure, good to see you. Game Urchin, hope you're good for you. Hello to you today, Pepper, hello Freak, hello Metherius, hello Exist, hello everyone. Jack Resorty is the new channel stream. It's true. A new channel, new channel theme, rather. It's true. I don't know how to indicate Jackness other than just indicating repeatedly. I am now Jack Zordy. Though isn't that the case that in the um, in the Mormon Church, uh, someone who's dropped away from Mormonism is called a Jack uh, Mormon, a Jack Mormon. If I'm a Jack Resorty, does that mean I'm less of a Resorty than before? Can't be that. There's only one Resorty all the way through. Resort depended by Jack Link's beef jerky. <laughs> uh, th though we take sponsorships here, we do not we do not endorse the eating of Jack Link's beef jerky. Now I've said it twice. You're gonna use the AI bots to have it say, "Hello, I'm Resorty, and my favorite shop on the Citadel is Jack Link's beef jerky." I knew it. I knew it. Slivers, how you doing today, friend? Good to see you. Uh, Jack, you played a game called Peaks of Yore. It's a rage-inducing game, but a lot of fun. It took you five to six hours to climb the 4.5 mile tall mountain. Um, is this a um, is this a game like Getting Over It, where you have to climb and fall, climb and fall? I think I've seen a couple games like that recently. One called like The Only Way Is Up, maybe. Um, I do enjoy streaming that kind of game for a while. Uh, but after a time, yeah, after a time, it's always you know, somewhat, somewhat stressful because uh, I'm not making any progress, and all I can say is I'm making no progress. And look, it's no progress. But yeah, I might probably check out some point. I, I don't know. A any game that's described being rage-inducing does not induce rage in me. Uh, traditionally, I'm just fine. But nonetheless, it could be a, uh, you know, it could be a, it could be a good time to play at some point. We'll see. Too many games. This is our actually our third day in a row with a different game. I never do this. I always say here's one game for a week, week and a half. It's going to be, yeah, three days in a row, three different games. Ridiculous. Hello to you, waifus. What would I want to be sponsored by regardless of feasibility? Oh, I don't know. Something involved in books, probably. <laughs> uh, I, I know that Audible, the audiobooks company, uh, does do sponsorships at times. But I don't listen to audiobooks. I've listened to one ever, and they mispronounced Schopenhauer's name repeatedly. And I said, nope, not for me. It was both Schopenhauer and Hegel. For Hegel, they said Hegel, and that was upsetting. I was like, wait, why, why is this happening to me? And so, yeah, I've not, I've not 
ever listened to audiobooks since. So, I, I don't know. It's been crosswords, maybe. Maybe books. Uh, unfortunately, these are things that probably don't ever do sponsorships. And uh, if they did, they wouldn't do it with little old me. And so, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't go looking for sponsorships. The ones that come to me, I always evaluate and say, okay, is this right for the channel? Is it right for me? It tends to be games that are fun. Paradox, sure. If Paradox says... Hey, Resorty, will give you money to play the games. I guess I'd play their games. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <sighs> That's sad. That's sad. We have to talk about Paradox today, friends. Because Paradox put out a new DLC that is causing it much consternation. Or at least the, uh, the Paradox players are very, very, very unhappy. And it's been not just like the standard... Uh, complaints about the DLC, but this is in City Skylines 2, a world where gamers are so unhappy. <laughs> Over in City Skylines 2, the gamer base has, feels like they've been abandoned by Paradox and the game is still not functioning well, and they released the DLC before the main game was completely in order, and people are very, very, very unhappy. So that's how it goes. Oh, is today Millennium Launch Day? Oh, is it actually? <laughs> Whoops, <laughs> someone forgot to look at his uh, Paradox calendar. We should probably play some Millennia. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. I, I just have not done a good job of scheduling the past couple weeks. It's sort of been whatever game you all happen to mention I should play. I'm like, sure, let's play that now. <laughs> so <laughs> it's fine. We'll play Millennia after a while. Uh, I did not promise to uh, Paradox that I would play it, thank goodness. Uh, but we do have a sponsored stream today, and I'm excited to play the game for today. It is a base builder that's been made by just one dev, which, as you know, anytime there's just one dev, I want to like a game so much because the idea of being an individual person coming up with the game and then learning all the necessary skills to create it, pff, absolutely crazy. Now, I'm not sure if they did the art stuff also, haven't looked into that yet, but yeah, one dev making this game, so we'll see how that goes for sure. Uh, between now and then, let's see, what else do we have to discuss? Oh, yeah, the big thing, of course. Many of you I know are up in the direction of Washington, D.C. and Maryland and Virginia and so on, and uh, I saw there's the, yeah, the, the bridge collapse up that way, which is... Uh, obviously heartbreaking and distressing and crazy, and it could have been much worse than it was, but I don't know, man. I see that kind of, like, disaster. It always reminds me that the world is much less stable than I imagine it is all the time. Like, you tend to look at things like bridges and say, ah, concrete, steel, power, permanence, and, and no, like these things do occasionally uh, go wrong and break apart. And it's, it's horrible, obviously, absolutely horrible. But um, yeah, I hope that those who live it that way were not directly affected. Uh, that said, obviously, it's a very scary situation. I'm guessing that many of you have driven over that very bridge before, and now it's just kind of not there. So uh, very, very sad, very, very sad. So remember traffic alerts this morning, well, I'm sure, probably a lot of... Uh, people who would usually use that bridge are now going in very strange directions, snarling traffic everywhere. So, I mean, if traffic is the least of the issues, or is the most of the issues for you, I guess you're in good shape, but it's still very annoying for sure. Uh, also, good that it happened at 1 a.m. Uh, good that some, like, bright, smart-thinking people closed off the bridge very quickly to bring fewer people in, etc. But it, it could have been much worse, but it's still pretty darn bad indeed. But... Yep, 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 yep. Hello to you, Rainer. Hello, Armadillo. Welcome in. That bridge is 185 feet tall. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know how tall that is. Like, I I'm six feet tall, a little over six. And I can put two of me together. I understand up to 12 feet tall. Past that, just numbers. <laughs> just numbers. Uh, but, but yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm very grateful that uh, you'll hang out with me today and uh, keep things happy and interesting. Uh, despite the troubles of the world. Now, speaking of happy and interesting, I would like to look at a DLC's... Um, hello, Fritz. I'd like to look at a DLC's uh, Steam reviews. Oh, here's today's game. Bulwark Falconer's Chronicles. Open world builder. Freedom at the expression of the core. Allowing players to build sprawling towns, spires, and fortresses that become hubs for trade or rallying grounds for conquests. Excited for that. I'm going to reload this. Uh, there are user reviews now, and those user reviews are positive. 31 positive reviews. There we go. Uh, the thing I'm most excited to tell you about is if you go to the Steam page right now, 
uh, by using the uh, code in channel. If you do exclamation point, what is, or the little link there, there's a demo you can play right now. I do not know how the demo relates to the full game. Uh, I just know the demo is free. So you can play it, you can try it, you can see how it goes, and then decide if you want to do that 10% off sale to, uh, to give it a shot. Also, look at that. It's bundled with a game we like quite a bit called Against the Storm. I did not know that, but fancy, fancy. Anyway, 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 uh, I want to discuss, though, a little game called Cities Skylines 2, which currently costs 6,291 yen, apparently. So it's been out now for half a year or so. Its reviews are mostly negative recently. 2,000 left past 30 days, 30% positive. All right, what I'm curious about, though, is... Beach Properties, the first DLC. Hello. I mean, that looks lovely. I, honestly, I'd like to hang out on that little uh, patio there beneath the shade, enjoying some sun, but not too much sun. Like, oh, it looks like out of Tropico or one of those fine, like, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas games. Also, there's, there's this with some buildings and some pools. All right, I see all these things, and I think this is nice. I would like to play that. Uh, the reviews, though... Uh, the reviews, though, oh boy, this is this is just pure thumbs down. Here you are, your beach DLC without beach-related content. What the heck is this? This is not a DLC. This is four trees. <laughs> I'm considering reporting this to Steam for fraud. <laughs> Forgot the C in DLC. It's 108 assets, not 180. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I, I know these people are upset. I know these people are expressing their real and sincere feelings, but I just find them very funny. I, I think they are going for humor, but yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no world where this is worth 850. So the complaints here are actually much less about the. Okay, here, here's what I was thinking of the game clips would be out. Uh, fix the main game first, poor value DLC. I thought they'd be primarily just go fix the main game. Uh, but but no, a lot of them about the DLC itself just not being any good. Well, at least 446 people bought that. Uh, so if they want to, uh, if, you, if you want to go buy some DLC, you can do that. You can see some new houses apparently. And uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we had some discussion on stream yesterday or day before about uh, the DLC model of Paradox and how long can this keep working to sustain a company. Uh, where, like, you sell the base game and then you develop the base game's uh, continuing life by selling more and more and more uh, DLC. But if it's such thing as this terrible review, 4% positive review, it's got to be quite the challenge uh, to, to sell many copies of that kind of review. Now, it, there are positive reviews. So what are the positive reviews? I want to see the positive ones, please. Very good, strong recommend, crybabies are stupid. Hear that, crybabies? You're stupid. Uh, I also got uh, 10 euros only, less than a jumbo donner. That's a donner kebab, right? Something like that. Four new palm trees. <laughs> uh, I bought support for the developers. Yeah, I think this is the kind of thing that... Uh, why I buy these also, because I very much want, um, I want Paradox to succeed, of course. Uh, people think this is a funny thing to do, it's hilarious, you're a clown, etc. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, just wanted to know about that. I wanted to see what's going on in the world of Paradox. How how's Millennia looking, though? Uh, Skyland players were hoping for a lot with Part 2. Yeah, I definitely get that. I, I know that because there's been some challenges, some questions on the main game here, uh, it's not been quite what people want, even since release. Probably any modifications, probably any um, changes to the games that are announced, they're expecting salvation, right? Players are saying, ah, this will fix everything for all of time, it's good to go now, and then it's just not quite that. Uh, what's with the improper research of late? Uh, the improper research resurgence of late is brought by, first, a group of streamers, 
including this guy, got together and decided to stream Imperator and got up to about a thousand concurrent players from the 400 or so we've been for a long time. And then for the Ides of March, Paradox did a, I think, 80% off Steam sale on Imperator. And it led to, I think now like 2,000 active, is that right? Let's see. Well, down to 1,192 right now. The peak though is 1,500. So all good things are coming to an end, but at least for a little bit, a little bit there at the end of March, things were really quite nice for a while, but there you go, there you go. Uh, my other question though is, Millennia has just come out. Millennia was apparently released uh, today. I have not bought it yet, but I probably will do so. This is the uh, Civ Paradox game, and I am curious. I am curious about how this is going to go, um, because Civ, of course, very well regarded. Again, it feels like another kind of soft launch. Um, I'm continuously surprised that the release dates come on these games, and I don't know if I just miss an email that says, Hey, Resorty, buy Millennia now or if it's a problem with my not wishlisting the game, right? Because I often wishlist games um, only to immediately buy them when stream is over. I know some people say like, oh, Millennia is coming out in a month and a half. I should wishlist it right now. Um, but I, I never actually do that. So what are the reviews of Millennia right now? Let's get one thing out of the way. The UI and graphics are not great. They're readable, but the game doesn't make things easy for you. And another thing, the only thing this game has in common with Civ is it's a historical 4X. Is that true? It definitely looks like Civ to me. <laughs> and definitely the movement feels kind of civ also. And also there are barbarian camps that spawn and if you step on them, you fight. And also there are like hidden treasures you can find on the map. And also, I don't know, I haven't played that much Civ, but the insistence is not Civ is, is interesting to me. Uh, he did enjoy this one a lot more. It's a historic-minded take on the historical 4X game. Unlike, say, Civilization, which assumes your civilization has immutable characteristics from the dawn of time, Millennia takes the environments, neighbors, resources, etc., and what has shaped are what shaped civilization to what it is. Yeah, so instead of saying, like, look, we've been Gandhi since the year one, you have a, a, a more changing civilization, make, make choices based on what you want it to be. I see, I see, I see. Also, logistic chains are fun. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Do you like a game called Factorio? Logistic chains are fun. And then alternate history ages are really cool. Yeah, there's ages you can go into by making certain choices, like the ages of heroes, I believe, uh, which is kind of like fantasy fun, I think. Um, but I've not played enough of the game to know much about it. Like I said, tomorrow, day after, we'll probably play some Millennia, we'll see. Definitely honest, the game needs a lot of work. A lot of work. For me though, this is the exact kind of numbers heavy, crunchy 4X game I've always wanted. Yep, 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 yep. As that word crunchy being used again. We'll give it a shot. I want to support the, uh, the team at Paradox, as always. This game is actually uh, produced by Paradox, not uh, not developed, right? It's a published Paradox. Developers see prompt games. They make millennia in a game called Heretic Operative Blood Calls. <laughs> I haven't heard of that one, but apparently it was pretty good uh, to get Paradox to have them work on millennia also. Anyway, <laughs> this game is accountancy as recreation. I, it, it's true. If you don't have your spreadsheet open while you're playing, then clearly clearly you're doing something wrong. Now I know that once I say that, some portion of the community is going to say, Resorty, play EVE Online, but I do not intend to do that anytime soon. That's an MMO, and if I play an MMO, I'm definitely going to go straight to streamer jail, guaranteed. Uh, Gary asks, why do some games go for on sale for like 90% off? Um, yeah, the biggest reason is because no one was playing it, and so I think it's a way of just getting any sales at all at any price uh, where that might then spark a little bit of excitement, then more people buy it. Not a huge number of people, but some. Uh, Resorty, don't play Eve. <laughs> Fernandez, I know your, your profile picture is a uh, is an Eve character, so if you're saying don't play it, perhaps I should not play it. Though I did play it back in the day. I was very, very bad and died a lot. The end. All right, speaking of the end, I should get a jacket. I should get us uh, ready for today's sponsored stream. It should be a good time. 
Be right back in one second. Hey, look, I'm back. It's like I hardly even left. I am curious, uh, how are you all doing? I, I haven't asked yet. We have a minute or two more. Anything exciting going in your world right now? Anything, anything you're excited about or hopeful for, looking forward to, or is it instead a matter of uh, just, just getting through the week? It's at midweek now. Uh, weekend is still very, very far away. This is me looking over the uh, horizon, hoping to see it. Great day over there. Watched Wonka. Uh, Rainer, which uh, Wonka film did you watch? I've not seen any of them except the very first. I believe there are now three Wonka films, right? And I've only seen the first one. None of the Johnny Depp or Timothy Chalmay, is that right? Saucy, you saw a whale on your walk this morning near the beach. Really? I'm so envious right now. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, when I was thinking, I'm looking over the horizon for the weekend. I was thinking about Moby Dick, of course, and that or she blows and so on. But you saw a whale. That's wonderful. I'm really envious. Very cool. Very cool. Have you ever played Terra Invicta? I have not poked Rito. Uh, when Terra Invicta came out initially, I said to myself, oh, I should play that. Uh, but then, but then, but then, uh, people said, Resorty, learn it off stream first. It's a game that's too complicated to learn on stream. And so I told myself, I'm going to learn this game off of stream. And then I never, ever did so. <laughs> so the, the reason I did not play Terra Invicta is because I just never bothered learning off stream. And uh, I probably should have learned it on stream instead, unfortunately. That's how it goes. Uh, Dougberry, you're recovering from 11 hours of driving for your grandmother's celebration of life. That's a ton of driving, Dogberry. I hope it went well. Good to have you back with us again. But... Uh, yeah, that's one thing I do not miss about the U.S. Like the, the thought that it's reasonable to drive that much to get anywhere. <laughs> like, I, I think here in Japan, if you drive 11 hours, you might go across the entire country. I'm pretty sure you would. <laughs> pretty sure. Uh, quick, Ben, you had to put down the family cat today. Oh, heartbreak, heartbreak. I know how hard that is. And uh, yeah, I'm glad she had a good life. That is a, a lovely thing to hear. But uh, all my sympathy, all my condolences to you for sure. That is... As rough, uh, obviously. Very, very sad. Uh, hello, Slivers! You're going to play a board game called Too Many Bones. I do not know Too Many Bones. You know what? I'm looking to fill a few more minutes, so what is the game Too Many Bones all about? It's a board game. Uh, it's some kind of RPG. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was hoping it involved, like, actual skeletons that you had to build. <laughs> when, I, when I hear too many bones, I want to see some, like, white, uh, bleached out skeleton bones, and there's nothing of the sort. Um, it doesn't, doesn't the dancer Nathan, oh, what's his name? <sighs> the fellow who's mostly bald but relatively young still... This is not helpful. He's a dancer named Nathan, though. I was with it. Uh, dancer Nathan, no bones. There we go. All right. So this is this is the program I'm looking for. We're on TikTok now. Welcome to TikTok. I I don't have TikTok. All right. This is what I thought we were talking about here. When you mentioned bones or no bones, look, he has no bones. He has no bones. Look at him go with his no bones. He has no bones. <laughs> So, I thought it was the other direction. He has too many bones, so can't move at all. What's your name? Nathan Barnett is his name. Uh, very good, very good. But instead, it's a game with lots of bones, namely lots of dice. I see. There are many, many uh, tables on which one's playing with many, many dice. Oh, wow. Yeah, lots of dice, actually. That's, that's absurd. Well, I hope it's a good time. I hope you enjoy it. That's great. Uh, Wingspan's a fun board game. It is. I have uh, played Wingspan uh, with Noms at a board game cafe back in Omaha. It was a really lovely time. Had a great time with it. But, friends, that is the end of the intro section. Thank you for talking with me for a whole half hour. The past few days, I've really struggled with finding um, things to talk about. I've been feeling a little gloomy myself, and so your kind cooperation and just chatting with me made me feel better about today. All I wanted to do was talk for the first half hour, so... One mission accomplished today. With that said, let's go ahead now and take a one minute break. That's not true, a three minute break to do a little crossword puzzle. Uh, when that's done, we'll get into today's sponsored stream and have a look at this delightful bulwark game. I keep wanting to say Bastion. You might recall the game Bastion, 
really enjoyed that. That's uh, one of those games from Something Giant Games. <laughs> Angry Giants? Who, who made Bulwark? Who made Bastion? I've forgotten now. HPG, thank you for the gift sub over to our friend Saucy Breadbasket. Do enjoy the emotes and the ability to watch the crossword puzzle. So here we go. Hey, Squantoon. I'm absolutely planning to play, um, yeah, absolutely planning to play uh, whatever game you just mentioned, Nordland. Yes, when Nordland comes out, we're absolutely playing it. I played the demo, I loved it. So yes, we're definitely, definitely, definitely gonna be playing uh, Nordland when it comes out. It is a game I have way too high of expectations for. It's a game I'm deeply hopeful, is amazing. When I see it, I see the very best in RimWorld. So thank you for buying that game, for sure, Squantoon. Very cool. Um, Super Giant, thank you. Super Giant is who made uh, Bastion. I keep wanting to say Bastion instead of Bulwark, though, because in my mind, I think they mean roughly the same thing, some kind of defensive structure. Anyway, let's see what we can do with over the next uh, little bit here. So, sends unsolicited offers to say, I don't know, spams possibly? We'll see. A prepper's pack is a go bag. Greeting in Brasilia, hola. Uh, Sharapova with a 2 and 20 record against Serena Williams. Isn't it Maria Sharapova? I think so. Uh, one time features of the SATs. Um, so I never took the SAT or the ACT. I managed to miss all the standardized exam days. Whoops. I don't know how I'd become an adult without those things. So I, I know they had some essays. Well, not sure right now. Uh, accord. Uh, accord can mean agreement, treaty, harmony, um, peace, that kind of thing. Not sure. Uh, Yo-yos. Uh, to bounce up and down a, a spool on a... What was it called? On a string? Not sure. Uh, close again in a way, or close again in a way. I'm not sure. Let's do some downs that we can do, though. Uh, cartoon characters who wear Phrygian caps. Phrygian caps. I think I know what those look like. I think the Smurfs wear them. The Smurds. <laughs> this is my knockoff brand. You can't sue me. They're the Smurds. Uh, bread chain. Well, Panera is a bread chain. No longer in bed. Uh, arisen, I suppose. Uh, tick relatives are mites. A request that might make someone stick out their tongue. Say ah. I don't know how to spell ah. I'm going to do that. We'll see if that's right. Uh, wander about. I think there's a phrase to gad about. I'm not sure on that, though. Handling a situation is on it. Uh, makes off limits. Probably bans. Though TS looks kind of bad. Uh, beer whose logo depicts Hulan province. Oh, it's Tsingtao. Yeah. Awesome. Pretty good so far. Uh, freezing cold. Freezing cold. Um, Arctic. <laughs> there we go. Uh, wait, Arctic's not going to fit. Ar Ar Arctic? It's Arctic, isn't it? Freezing cold. Huh. Um, anything but that. God, no. Um, fly in the blank. Minor irritation idiomatically. It's a fly in the ointment. Uh, recipient of a bequest. Um, so bequests go to... Uh, endowments, they go to people who would inherit things from you. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, half of ASAP, as soon as possible. <laughs> if, if you want to use the word bassoon without the B, let me tell you about the assoon. Very good. Uh, one time feature of the SAT are analogies. Uh, Yo-yos are... Yo-yos. So I like dips? Huh, unsure. Anyway, uh, close again is to real reseal. Ingredient in a, fresh, uh, in a fancy mimosa for short. Ingredient in a fancy mimosa for short. Um, fresh two letters. No idea. Is fresca? Is fresca? <laughs> Fresata? I don't know what this is actually. No idea. Uh, Destin for. So this is Destin with an E at the end. De De is that how Destin's always spelled? Anyway, Destin for is a life of mediocrity. 
you are guaranteed to have life mediocrity. You're bound to. Mm. Um, faction. It could be a clan, possibly. Uh, blank there. Been there, done that. Womp Womp, the sad trombone. Absolutely. All right, a pretty good start. The ad's still running, never mind. Uh, the ad must started late. We have more time still. So a couple more of that. What's the down here? Uh, both in Spanish. I do not remember. Volkswagen sedans. Um, I do not remember. I think clan's probably wrong, though. Faction would be a sect instead. Sedans or Volkswagen. They have the Beatles. They have the camper van. They have the Jetta. Jettas. Hey, we got one. Uh, produce or produce with care. Uh, to craft, possibly, as opposed to just make. Uh, labor opponents. The Tories. Uh, little fish in a big pond. That incredibly fat koi. You've seen the one. It just floats there, wanting you to throw bread at it. And you refuse, and it looks very sad at you. Uh, resident of a formicary. Formicary. Hmm. Is that a place where snakes go? Is being asp, possibly? Not sure on that. Uh, words accompanying a reality check. Reality check. Are you seeing things? Wait, how is there still an ad in progress? <laughs> this ad break appears to have been going forever. I apologize. Our ads, they're not, they're not running still. I don't believe they're running still. It's been six minutes now. So I'm going to stop it there. If ads are still running, I apologize. But it's time for us to play a little game. And uh, I'm just confused. Just confused. Anyway, today's game begins with an opening video that I would like you all to see. And so I'm going to pull it up and hopefully change screens by the time that it's playing so you can see it. All right, here is Bulwark Falconer's Chronicle. Falconer's Chronicle. Here we go, here we go. Well, there's your opening video. So apparently it's not one person made the whole game, but it is one person developed the game. I don't quite know what develop means, but it's impressive nonetheless. So there you go. Falconer Chronicles Bulwark. This game, as I understand it, is a follow-up to an earlier game uh, that I did not play. In fact, I've not seen. So I'm kind of evaluating this one just on its own terms and playing it just to, to see how it goes. But on the intro screen here, I love seeing the flying things. I think one thing we know about so many uh, base building games is they're flat. Uh, often they occur before we knew how to fly anyway. But this one appears to have like dragons up there and eagles and dirigibles and all the rest. And so I'm excited to get some of that going and learning what exactly makes things fly in this world. Welcome to Bulwark, a game about chaotic creativity. Oh no, what have I done? <laughs> I didn't mean to start the game. <laughs> I was trying to turn up the volume to... Uh, Allow us to hear the fellow's voice a little more clearly, but the voice is gone. No more voice. Uh, that was the, the dev welcoming us to the game, though. We don't need to do that necessarily. All right. So this game has Twitch integrations, and I would like to make sure this thing works. I don't want to turn it on, though, until uh, after... Yeah, until after a while of playing, uh, just so I can make sure that I know how to play the game. And then when that's done, we will uh, do the integration. You all can destroy my world as always. Uh, like many other games recently, this game allows the players to uh, work with their Twitch channel to uh, work with their Twitch channel to make sure that uh, decisions are carried out in certain ways, uh, all the rest. Ah, very good. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. 
So it is the case that you've been sending messages over the past minute and a half, two minutes, and I haven't gotten any of them. And so if you don't know me glancing over here over and over again, I was like, wait, what? I'm being funny. I'm saying things. You should be responding. <laughs> so <laughs> I reloaded the chat window and all of your messages came through. <sighs> I felt so alone for a moment there. I was like, what, wait, what did I do wrong? Does everyone hate me this much? <laughs> All right, let me let me scroll through real quick. See, I'm glad that you all enjoyed Ass Soon as much as I did. That's a very, very important part of this story. All right. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Resorty is fancy. That's very kind of you. Thank you. Appreciate that. You're here to help. I appreciate that also. You all make great decisions, etc. Good to good, good. All right, so there is Twitch integration, which we will turn on after a while. See, this is what got me. I was like, wait, I'm talking about Twitch integration? and <laughs> no one is talking at all. This is gonna be the worst Twitch integration ever. <laughs> uh, same thing happened to you earlier on our different channel. That's very weird, very weird. Um, may I should have chat open on multiple screens in the future. Anyway, if you came in during the, uh, the brief chat problem, then uh, hello to you, my friends. <laughs> hello to you. <laughs> Uh, so I'm going to turn on the Twitch thing after a while. For right now, though, I'm going to try the game without. Probably for half an hour or so, we'll turn it on, and you all can make decisions and cause problems for me. This is the campaign mode. Here you get a taste of the open-world building sandbox. It has a basic tutorial, a resource system based only on distance, rather than how much you can produce, and an ever- Ah, uh, two things. Number one, I need to move myself. I don't want to block Tomas out. Again, the dev there helping us out. So I move myself over to this side. And then I think it's a little bit quieter than it should be. So let me go ahead and increase the game volume a little bit. Also time for the ever exciting flip. Here we go. I'm going to flip from one direction to the other. Uh, reverse, reverse. Ah, great. There we go. Let me turn up the game a little bit more and see how it sounds for y'all. Ah. Expanding set of encounters, world events, and unlockables. Ah, right, so campaign mode, here we go. There's the seahorse difficulty, there is the uh, stingray, I believe, difficulty, and then the compass rose. Well, we're going with number one first. A word of advice. Click and build everywhere. There are no mistakes, and slowly figuring out what builds where and how things grow is part of the game. It's about experimenting, so don't be afraid and go wild. Yeah, I want to turn up the game volume some more. I'm about at the point where I can't make it any louder, though. Let's see if I can move it up the game volume independently. I can hear it here if I turn up my speakers quite a bit, but I don't want to do that. So, uh, voice volume. In, big in. Okay. We'll see how that does it. I can keep turning things up if I need to, but I prefer not to. Because it then turn my voice up also, and that's very awkward. What's this here? Uh, HDR output. What is HDR? Master Bomb can go louder also. Thank you. You catch on that one. Yeah, that's nicer. That's nicer. What is HDR? I wish to turn on the HDR. Detect it. It's there. High dynamic range. It's fancy display tech. All right, we don't have that then. All right, let's see what happens now. Let's begin our game. Some graphic setting. Eh, whatever. Oh, yeah. Sorry. So the guy that gave us down good and loud. Thank you for helping me find that one. So... The free houses value prosperity, stability, and growth. They want to rebuild, desiring only peace. Number two is the Mansur Order. They want to reestablish their oppressive monopoly on technology and science. Or, the Imperial Remnant wants to reform their expansionist empire and oppose the Mansur Order. So these two here are at war, it seems. Where this one here is nice, friendly, let's get started. We'll be nice, friendly, let's get started. Have a tutorial going. Seems great. Let's do it. Our people were wrecked during the War of the Tree. Dunkel, Castellus, Moorbridge, and even Port Remit. Nothing remained of our prosperous free houses after decades of attrition. We took what we had and left in order to resettle in peace away from the warlords and fiefdoms that remain. We will succeed, because on our backs the past was built, and from our hands the future will be wrought.
So I'm curious, is this Earth or is this just a watery planet? Like, where did all the land go? All right, tutorial pairing resources. We have to fly this surveyor, develop a command tower, and explore the oh, open you're world. Finally here. We've already built a few essential buildings. I'll assist you in connecting things up and getting the settlement up and running. Apparently there's While some... you're on the ground, we will focus on a single building at a time. This will allow you to build outward in a variety of ways and upwards later on. Okay, um, so apparently there's a way of getting your own character in channel, or not in channel, in screen, in the game. In the same way that like, that man's face is over there, I can have a resorty face that will talk along as I am talking, which seems a little bit VTubery for me, but it could be fun to try at some point. Anyway, here's how we look around our outpost. Right mouse button to rotate about. First, connect this outpost to the woodmill, which is located down in the shallow water beside the sea tree fungi. Okay, so connect this cannot build. with the wood mill. Use the mouse to move your controller, move the cursor towards the wood mill until it snaps, pop, bang. Then press space to build the connecting walkway. Um, so this game is uh, far preferring controllers. I've been told the game is like, made for controllers. Uh, when I first loaded it today in Steam, a big window came up saying, plug in controllers now. I do not own a controller, but I promise I'm going to buy one this afternoon. Nonetheless, here's how you do it with mouse and keyboard. Notice how workers are already building houses and industry along the walkway. Huh. Wherever you build and our workers can reach, they will settle. Let's now focus on the woodmill. Okay, so people fill in the areas you made previously. Next up, pick the woodmill. This is your woodmill. It produces and transports wood across walkways. Let us build a basic wooden tower with a walkway towards it. Is it a wood mill or a windmill? Possibly both. Extend the build line with the mouse till the circle display, then press space. Build a new connecting tower from the wood mill. So I guess we'll build uh to here. Wood can only travel a limited number of walkways away from the wood mill. But this can be increased by encouraging workers to build along walkways connected to the wood mill. Uh, so again, people are building up nicely. Next up, improve your wood mill by wood mill by turning to an industrial hub. Build more connecting towers and walkways from the wood mill. Expect resource flow with control to see the output of wood mill growth. So control. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. So with control, we can see that the wood mill is consistently putting out 10, I assume, wood. We have a free house outpost where we get workers. Over here, we get our stone quarry stone. We have no iron yet. And so we see how all the resources flow nicely amongst one another. So that is done. Build more towers. I'm building out a rhyme or reason. Let's see how this works. Great job. Now we have access to the quarry, our wooden towers can be upgraded to stone. I like it that the troll uh, person tells me, great job. That's very infirming. I uh, select a wooden tower and have the build line retracted. Push space to upgrade it. Stone towers create stone walkways. If you rebuild a walkway adjacent to a stone tower in place of a current wooden one, it will be upgraded to stone. I'm not sure why stone is preferable. Also, I'm going to turn on the game volume just slightly. Um, why is stone preferable? Does it increase the amount of stuff moving around? So we now have 11 on the wood mill, but previously we had only the 10. So I'm guessing that the stone path made that change, possibly. I go to the outpost now, apparently. Outposts can be upgraded as well. Let's use the stone to upgrade the outpost to its second stage. I uh, will do. Upgrade. We can add foundations to basic towers and outposts. These allow workers to build a higher class of housing on them, increasing the worker output. Uh, so foundations are needed also. Add a foundation to the outpost. Extend the build line slowly until square icons are displayed. Then press space when the square comes up. Need to move the master volume down some more, unfortunately. 
Uh, how dare you get loud when I'm talking? So rude, so rude. All right, we'll try there. So, foundations needed now. The worker output of our outpost can be improved further by connecting more towers and walkways to it. All right, so as we build up, we see adorable little houses getting started. And so with control, again, we can see how everything's working. And so now we have four workers' points instead of only three. Still lots of wood, still some stone. So I think we should probably upgrade everything. So go here to here, upgrade to wood. We're still four and now nine. Uh, let's go and move over to this one. Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. One minute I'm busy. Don't tell me what to do, video game. Excellent. More stone, more good. Alright, select the outpost, they say. Outpost selected. More connecting towers. Alright, so connect more places. To where though? To here? To here? Right nearby? A. All towers allow for foundations, wood, stone, and later, command towers. Command towers also allow for battlements. So I'm really a fan of seeing how the game's colony responds to the bit of work I do and then throws things up. I guess it's similar to in City Skylines. When you uh, zone an area, it very quickly becomes... Uh, populated by little houses here and there. But it's nice seeing the, the world growing response to me. That said, these people are definitely in the range of the waves. This does not seem up to, to standards. <laughs> we need to get some inspectors right away or build a flood wall or something. All oh, those poor, poor people. Hopefully they don't intend to use the basement as anything other than show. Uh, external foundations. Expand the, expand the build line until you see a triangular square icon. Press space when it's uh, displayed. Look, I'm making things. Up. Right, again, I hope it eventually get here to build anything. these get covered with more workers, hopefully. Hey, people come in. More people, more good. We have done well. It is time we started being more ambitious. Take to the skies and seek out iron ore. Ah, uh, we take to the skies now. Use tabs between ground and air modes. I am the, the surveyor. surveyor. Allows you to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It will also help to get you out of trouble, which is never far on the Earth Sea. Ah, uh, to get out of trouble in this thing, do we abandon our people? I'd find an iron resource on a small island nearby. Use left, left mouse button to fly, space to build, M for world map. The world Ooh. map shows our holdings, which we can fast travel to. I will also mark any freelance captains that enter our waters, as well as suspicious locations. Smelly Log Floaters, one heck of a name. <laughs> Who, whose parents gave them that name there? Now here we can see the Maw, the Shard, Naughty, Lock, Basilius. Uh, we learned earlier that the Mansers are in battle with the Empire. And so do we see the Imperial Territory? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Not quite sure what it'd be called. Oh, possibly this name. This name looks plausibly Imperial. Uh, let's go take over that place right away, surely. All right, let's return to our being the surveyor and seeing all things. Oh, let's go look and see where there's um, iron nearby. So this is stone. This is probably wood. And then these are probably iron. So let's go ahead and fly this way. Oh, I like the flying. I like the flying very much. Flying is fun. Pay attention to the political influence of your settlement. If one faction becomes dominant over the others, our neighbors may seek reason to rekindle old grievances. Okay, so politics right now is we are in charge, ye seahorses. So I need to figure out how to figure out where East is. I don't have a compass, do I? 
So I think it might be this way. Possibly, possibly, possibly. Oh, I have a compass on my on my uh, ship. I missed that part. It's telling me to go away. I'm not going. How dare you? How dare you tell me what to do? I go this way. You to build resource extractors, harbors, and outposts on other islands. It are we close? To get you out we are London, here. Which is never far on the Ursi. That it was. Your surveyor can build a mine on this spot. Workers will mine for ore, and the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Iron will allow our most advanced towers and buildings. I will now build here. Um, so space to build there. We Fast building. Good job. Iron, but it needs to be transported across the water. Let us build a trade route for ships that can transport iron and other resources back and forth. Okay, trade route time. How do you trade routes? Harbors have to be built in deep water close to a shorebound building when your cursor changes to an anchor. A suitable captain then must be assigned. I can't wait to have a captain, my captain. So, looking for cursor as anchor. Mm, mm, there it is. First Several pier. captains are now available. Each captain hauls specific resources. For this trade route, iron is required, but wood is also recommended to expand the mine later. Captain Salad Tree. So apparently once I turn on Twitch integration, which is coming soon, it'll choose names from chat, so you all can be in game instead. Captain Salad Tree, of my uh, people, he has a good sloop. I will also, count stone and workers only. Nothing else. Oh, so this says what they'll carry. So Captain Heliford is unwilling to carry any of the iron. Ship only carries wood and workers. Same for Alexander. Carries wood. So no one wants to carry the iron my except for guy number one. Will only carry iron and workers for our industries. So every captain whom only certain kinds of things. It's really interesting to me. Is helping our settlement grow and prosper. Thank you, Sal Tree. But he'll be moving iron now. Harbors always need to be built as pairs. As soon as you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will carry your resources over vast distances. Uh, let's try to get back home and build the second harbor then. Are you home? You are not home. You are home! Alright, so can I then just build... I was thinking of having uh, another tower from my main over to the, this area. But I'll throw the port on the side here, I guess. This is too close to something else. Too close? Harbors always That's pretty there, apparently. Pairs. So yellow means too as close. As you build two, a trade route will connect them. Captains will cap I'll Select your outpost so we can start expanding it further. So the captain will begin bringing iron over now. Back to the free house. Oh, you move back to the outpost level, so tabs switch over. With iron, we can start building defensive structures such as imposing command towers. But before doing so, we need to upgrade our outpost into a proper citadel. A citadel. Oh, the ship arrives. Our first ship here. I push control. We now have iron coming in also. Yeah, first delivery. Nice, nice, nice. So everyone has iron now as well. I upgrade the outpost. So hopefully the iron, we can now do that. So you upgrade. With all major resources now at our disposal, let's focus on building command towers. These can be built with multiple floors as well as additional foundations and balconies. Okay, I'd like to build a command tower. Upgrade a basic or stone tower several times to get a command tower. Uh, you there. You are me a command tower. Why you? I do not know. Now the parapets. And again, command, towers have the potential command tower. To high into the sky. Their height can be increased by adding more foundations as well as having better access to workers. Build this tower as high as possible. All right, this tower will offend God.
So every new upgrade is more and Change more floor you are building floors. Up. Lower floors build foundations, while higher floors build balconies and sky bridges. Oh wow, the spires look amazing. We're not spires, but the, I don't really know what they're called. They look very fancy though. So move F. They have to move down to different Mount floors, build more and more things. Are strong battlements that support your tower. Foundations allow more floors to be built on the tower. So more foundations, you can then build more floors. How high will it go? Uh, now we need more foundations again. Like so? Like so? We have to go up again. F is moved down, or what move up is. Build four foundations in the command tower. There's one. This command tower. That's four. We already have an experienced warbird commander among our retinue. Let's assign them to this command tower. Let's build a warbird commander now. Left mouse button on the command tower. Done. Um, of the commander menu. It'll hold find it. No finer stable. Not since the heyday of the war. In service to our people, my retinue of falconeers is eager to settle. This man lost an eye. He's a stabler. Does that mean that he is a stabler person, or it's a stable of ships, or I don't know? Rest assured, friend. My warbirds are the strongest and fastest. My stable mixes Sarkunta and Northern Grey Dive traits. Warbirds, the likes of which have not been seen for decades. So, actual warbirds. This tower and its commander now stand watch over our settlement. Their forces will deploy, joining our battle group when the surveyor is near the command tower. Okay, so my ship has come our over. settlement is established. We have access to resources, a citadel, and command towers. It's time to explore the surrounding area. Finding more people that will help us thrive. All right, so if I bring my surveyor over, time, apparently the other fellow will join to accept unlikely neighbors. in defense. But be wary of who you invite in. If they bring their old allegiances, conflict is sure to follow. So make some nice neighbors, but not too many now nice neighbors. It's all up to you. Head out and explore the earth. Rebuild our society as you see fit. Protect yourself. And our citizens well. Good luck. Thank you, I'll try my best. Uh, tutorial done, which means it's time to run Twitch integration. Now, I just type in Resorty, perhaps? Twitch channel. Uh, Twitch.tv. Oh, you just type in Resorty also. Is that right? Okay. I may need to hide something in a moment here. We'll see. Uh, it's activating... Bad request invalid host. Oh no! Oh no, it's not work. <gasps> oh no! Okay. Hey, computer friends. So this thing, when I click on it, is bringing up local host. Is where it's trying to go. Um, lo local host is not what I want. Correct. It should probably aim for like Twitch.tv or something. No democracy, indeed. Um, okay. I think I was supposed to make sure this worked before stream started. Is that true? I think that might be true. Let's see. Um, bu -bu 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 bum 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 Definitely didn't do that. Locals means my own computer. Yeah, so why is it sending my own computer when I try to prove this thing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're gonna save and reload. So I want you all to be able to play with me as well. Or not play, but uh, make decisions, change things also. Uh, let's go and reload the game and see if that fixes it. I don't think it will, unfortunately. Uh, here we come again. Do you want the URL? Happy might want the URL. 
instead of just my Twitch name, like Resorty. I'm happy to give that a shot. Welcome to Bulwark. A game? Uh, hello, Twitch. Let's try... Uh, HTTP colon... Colon not allowed. Let me just Twitch... Dot TV. So I, I can't do anything other than underscores. This is me pushing the period key. So I think it is just resorty also. And it pops a bad request immediately. Hello. <laughs> what does it say? Here, I'll bring it and show you what it says. That's what it says. That's what it says. Bad request. Invalid host. It's he's trying to go to localhost. Hopefully this um hopefully this access token is not how you can steal my channel. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm not sure what the difference is between uh username and Twitch channel here, unfortunately. Uh because they, they do mean the same thing for old resorty here. Yeah, terribly sorry, folks. I'm not going to get this to work, at least not right now. So, I'm sorry. I, I tried my best. Not free build. Did not mean to pull it up. Back to main menu again. So, the one thing it might be asking for is I have a magic code that I can use to stream my channel. I could give them the magic code, but it does not say insert your stream key here. And I've been told not to give that thing out generally, so... Uh, Alright, well, I tried my best. Let's have a fun time playing the game anyway, unfortunately. But, no this luck, no luck. The campaign mode. Here you get a a Alright. Unfortunately, the game did not save when I closed it. And so, we have to tutorial again. Let's do it very quickly this time. Ding, ding. Hey, it did save. Maybe. Hey, it did save. All right, so we're in charge now. And so what should we do? Um, well, this thing should probably get upgraded. Anything that appears to be woody disallowed now. So we select you. Hello? <laughs> Hello? I mean, it is not upgrade. How about this tower over here? Let's all, all, all stony. Huh. New forces are ready nearby. Kay. Fly up to their command tower for them to join our battle group. We're learning now how to be in charge of the ship. So let's go ahead and fly over here. Oh. Over here is left key. Uh, the devs tried to update the code to make a point to the real website. Got it, Brax. Thank you for the help there. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I was worried that I was doing wrong, Brackish, but I I'm glad that I was not doing it correctly. Uh, so I wish to have the commander join me. I was told to fly over by it, I believe. I'm flying. I'm flying with your birds. Uh, we'll go back down to ground level for now. Huh. Am I able to build additional tower connections? We build the thing off of the main thing here. So we move to main thing here. And then I connect to here possibly? Oops. Space bar not. One challenge I'm having in the game so far is just like figuring out how to click on things correctly. No, it's outside of range. Oh, it's just in range. Just in range, glorious. More towers up. Right, the new buddy tower, I wish to upgrade you. Lovely. I wonder if there's any reason not to upgrade things as much as you possibly can. Make them all into command towers. Probably can't have too many of the generals or commanders wherever they are, unfortunately. And we can connect here. Okay, so you're allowed to have a, a wall out into the water, which does not then go to another bit of land but people then move in anyway i've been told that people moving in is very important so that seems good we build foundations also which allow people to move in even more every bit of the stone tower will be ours very soon 
build, build ye many. Okay, now I'm guessing from this tower we can continue on over this direction. So we'll build the here first. And then hop through the middle. This might be me just painting. I'm not quite sure why I'm doing this other than it looks cool. I'm experimenting, right? The dev said to experiment, so we are indeed experimenting now. A milestone in population, aligning with the free houses. This will attract new free house captains and commanders to our banner. The free house folk are numerous, and will generally make for the majority of people in our settlement. Okay, our population is greater than ever before. If I push the control key, may I see that? Uh, I see workers is only one green right now. Our population is 538. That seems pretty gay. But I don't... Oh, I'm in the way of this thing, aren't I? Sorry. The little green workers thing there is only showing one. So I need to get more workers in. I believe you get workers by upgrading the main... How do I get out of this mode? I keep wanting to push right click to get out of... Locked in on that. But I think I have to click from building to building, maybe. Get back to where I want to go. Okay, here we are. So, can you upgrade some more? Not right now. Would you care for some more foundations? Everyone loves more foundations. More population. Uh, the other thing I know how to do, of course, is to go um, make additional resource nodes. This woodmill's got to upgrade, right? This woodmill clearly must upgrade. It just does not want to, unfortunately. It will leave a hub of our base a while longer. I want to move into surveyor mode. There's an anomaly in the distance. Let's investigate. There's an anomaly. One moment. I do not want to do the anomaly. I want to go find the other resources on my starting island. I know I saw others on the world map here. Yeah, there's additional wood down to the south. I wonder if I can build all the way across that. Or maybe have another one of the... Um, Another ship moving it back and forth. So it's around this way, I believe. I'm very glad we don't go slamming into any of the, uh, <laughs> into any of the, um... You have no available resource extractors. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to slam into the mountains. Uh, but no, you need to have a resource extractor, apparently, to build here. So you can't you build no for free. Which will learn how that works later. For now, though, an anomaly in the distance. Which is over this way, it seems. Okay. So the anomaly you can see on the compass rose there is being a little question mark. Looks like a whirlpool or a storm. I should definitely not go straight into that thing. If I believe to learn about it, we need to go straight into that thing. What's more valuable than a warm hearth in these bleak times? Well, look no further. Master fabricator of boilers and heated houses. At your service. At some minor mishaps at my previous patron, but I assure you, I can deliver fabulous Mark II heated houses. Alright, so Ensign Wolfson, if we have him join us, uh, we get more businesses. A warm heart. Uh, this is Mark II. Whatever stories you might have heard, Shoddy Mansa Welding was to blame. I don't gossip. Nothing. But apparently he said things explode previously. What's more valuable? You may join me. I believe in you. Please don't have things explode in my base. All right, so additional businesses will appear, I guess, at my base now. And then also we have another question of intrigue and curiosity. I wish to learn all the intriguing bits. Up and over, please. Up and over. How far away is this other curiosity? Oh, quite far away. But I feel like I'm getting a little bit far away from the... Um, what I should be doing. Let's explore some more and see. This game is quite lovely. I think, I think that's my, my first like piece of feedback. Word has it that you have a space for me and my crew. You'll make a fine addition to your workforce. Okay, another captain. This one gives me a transport vessel and workers, and we have more free house alignment. So we are free house through and through. Let's do that. You Good. have enrolled a trade ship, Captain. They can be assigned to transport. Goods. I have a trade ship. 
Uh, let's go back to our house now. And hopefully put down an area for the trade ship to do some trading. Dark and terrible night. On horizon. Refugee settlements? Can take these people in. Why, yes. Clearly we need refugees to join us. Wait, the refugee settlement looks more attractive than my base. <laughs> Hello to you, refugees. Greatly reduced, and this is our last holding. Reject us, and many more are certain to pass. Their splinters lost to us. I see that the voices on the missions are slightly quieter than the tutorial voice. But if we have them join us, we get an outpost to salvage and relocate. It increases Imperium alignment. So Imperium is not who we are. We are freeholders. These Imperial people with their fancy monocles and their uh, attractive armor and their pink hair are destabilizing to our society. We say no. No refugees allowed. I'm a monster. I don't know why I'm being a monster. Other than the tutorial warned me not to be nice to everyone. Uh, back at our home once more. So... So... We gained some kind of building we can place. I wonder how we do that exactly. I'm gonna move into being building mode again. And... We can see our current resources. We're kind of low on iron, so I can go look for our iron spot. I know there's one out there. Or may I build more buildings? <laughs> if I go over this direction, we gotta build up this direction in hopes of finding the other resource we need to get more wood someday soon. <gasps> we can build on the top, top peak here? What can we really? I saw for one second. Oh, it's on the other side. Boo, the other side. But maybe we can climb carefully here. I uh, go to here first. And then up we go. Uh, again, I don't think we're actually going up. I think we are going out instead. Multiple dimensions are hard, aren't they? Maybe. <gasps> higher and higher. Uh, this must be possible. I can upgrade this thing. Which makes it somewhat taller. There is no iron available for this uh, We're out of iron now. We've spent out everything we had. We do have more stone, though. So I can move to these buildings and upgrade them, too. Which gives us... I don't know what. More population overall, I think. Uh, this way, the waves are becoming kind of uh, less stable. So the, the waves are pretty stable. The line is pretty stable to here. And then they get all wibbly-wobbly. So I guess that wibbly wobbly means there's not enough of whatever. So we're out of workers currently. So we must find a way to make additional workers. Let's go ahead and move into our ship again. As we head back over to main base. All right, things are flashing at me. I think that flash there just always means here's how you get back home. In case you get lost. There's more anomalies though. Uh, one moment, one moment. What's happening in the world map? So our alignment is still super good all me. There's additional iron to the west there. Now I'm not sure if I'm allowed to set up another resource extractor. We tried to do it with wood that was disallowed. How about for iron though? Uh, here we are. More iron mine. You have no available resource. Extractors. Disallowed. Let's learn how to get resource extractors. Um. Did I miss some portion of the tutorial? <laughs> I kind of think maybe I did. Uh, so you are my stone extractor, I believe. May I level you up? I may not. So resource extractors just have one level, it seems. This building can be leveled up for sure. Has anyone figured out how to get the resource extractors? I definitely have not yet. Definitely the most rare property of all times. <laughs> Here, here's some foundations for you five folks. If nothing else, I'm gonna make the world's most beautiful city. It's lovely, and I made it. Okay, we could do another command tower. 
and we make it higher and higher, I believe I'm allowed to uh, have another one of those commander guys. Are you command tower now? Need more parapets and such? their population looking. All right, we have workers again. The iron line is having some troubles, though. Must fix the iron line. Also, out here, workers are very confused. The heart rate is not stable. I don't know. Those of you who played the game, is it possible to upgrade your wood mill? Because I still cannot figure that out, unfortunately. Uh, also, there are more anomalies. We'll go look at that in a moment. Uh, so I am the woodmill. I push upgrade. Upgrade does nothing. Uh, let's go see the anomaly. I'm not interact with anomalies at least. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Uh, who are these refugees? Are these the Imperium again? Oops. I think we went directly over top of it. Uh, where are you? Seems I have finally found that rumored safe haven. And what a sorry sight. Where are your gunships? Your corvettes? Where is your fleet? Truly, my services are urgently needed. This here is an ironclad steam ring. Not many of these around anymore. And she is for hire. We seek a new patron, new waters to guard, and new harbor for repairs and restocking. What say ye? I say a fighting vessel looks that great. Join me, won't you? Officer. They command a mighty warship. To Look at it. Your trade route. Look at the warship. It's mine, all mine. It doesn't fly my flag, but then who would? All right, so current mission is hire absolutely anybody who wants to talk to me. I have no Imperials allowed. What is this anomaly? Uh, what kind of people are you? We are but humble refugees, many from the great Imperium. Imperium. No, <laughs> they immediately fall into the ocean. We're playing this game as the god Poseidon. It's absolutely perfect. Okay, so no more resource extractors yet. If I move back to my base. Maybe we can find more things to build up and get our population ever higher. So, can I go from this building here, I wonder, over to the unbuilt portion this way? Here we can. So at least this is doable. We can always build more fun stuff and then upgrade them to stone and such. I'm hoping if I get a sufficiently high population, then I'll unlock whatever the next level of buildings and so on. There are population now 913. All right, getting close to 1,000 population. If nothing else, we have a giant celebration for our thousandth, thousandth city citizen moving in. All right, can we connect these two together? I'll move this um, tower into this tower together. There you go. Wow. Some serious elevators. Are they stairs? <gasps> Do people have to walk all the way up here? They'll definitely get their exercise in doing that. That <laughs> seems absolutely fantastic. Oh, can't we upgrade the, like, the level of, this, of the, um, the walkways also? I think we can. So more better walkways. Yes, please. How do I get onto this building? Because up and over. There it is. It's as upgraded as can be. I have to click in for it, right? Click into it. And then upgrade there is no again. Iron available no iron! Way. We're ironless once more. And I have over a thousand population, and nobody cares, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, are there any anomalies out there? There are anomalies. Let's go see the anomalous situations. Oh, I wonder if my port can upgrade. 
I haven't tried that yet. My port does not appear, unfortunately. Alright, so... This anomaly had better not be just more refugees. Got more important things to do than we're at the plight of every Imperial out there. I kind of want to go on a tour of other parts of the world map to see other cities if I can. But I believe that seems an act of war. Oh! My ship and kin have served Dunkel for generations. Dunkel is no more. I was hoping to serve your new settlement. The Nether? Captain for hire. Trade routes. A cutter. You have enrolled sure. an officer. They command a mighty warship to defend your trade routes. So a trade ship and now two military ships to keep the trade ship safe. Thus far, I've not seen anyone attack us. I don't know when that will change. Maybe in the free house it will not. But another anomaly. Where are we on the world map right now? Out here in un... Explored territory. It's the northwest place called the Temple of the Hidden Tears. Let's go there. I want to know what's happening at the Temple of Hidden Tears. What's this? We, the speakers of the Sacred Steps, have seen better days. But I'm proud of what my people have accomplished to end the war. We brought those together to speak that needed to be heard. And we are now available to help ease your factional tensions. We can get people back to work through the sacred power of prayer and speech. Uh, Mr. Mustache here wants to give me a unique building. What is that? This is too close to something else. Alright, so am I allowed to salvage this building now? Demolish is hold V. Okay, I think we now have a unique building. Maybe? Our settlement's too far away. Our settlement's too far away. I don't want to place this thing. I want to keep running it back home and then place it more closer to home. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, we can build a new outpost also. Huh. Probably in the middle of the water we should not do. I'm hoping to get back to shallow water. I can place this unique building I just found. And I think some of the earlier buildings I found I may have wasted, I'm not sure. Yeah, so whatever this indicator is, I hope it's the unique building. If not, I think if we can start a new outpost, we might do that. Have more and more stones for ourselves. Uh, we're back home again. So here it becomes... The refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. The Trident. Perhaps we can take these people in. So how do I make this unique building? I really wonder... So try to just make uh, ports here. Uh, probably taking over another island would be a good idea. There's a nice, large, attractive island to the north. Let's see if we can get that started as an outpost as well. Is it straight north? It is. All right, outpost number two. Looks lovely. Uh, may I build an outpost here? Ah, we have a second outpost now. Or... <laughs> something like that. Uh, outpost, oh, this is the temple area. So we now have a temple building. This will be our own personal temple, I guess. And we build off it a little bit. You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Ah, uh, they're mocking me for having no wood. <laughs> no. <laughs> um... I'm guessing that I need to, like, transport wood up there. But yes, the Toro Man is a little bit rude. And we have no resource extractor, so though there are other wood locations, I'm not exactly sure how to make them work. I think that might be my review of the game right now. Despite playing the tutorial, I'm just a little bit confused. And the game feels like a... Like a, a specially locked little box. If I can just get it open, I'll learn so much. But I, I don't see how to open the game quite yet. We are but humble Imperium! Absolutely not. Now, the game keeps throwing at me more and more of these have the Imperium people join you. Maybe I must do that to uh, unlock more of the game. Uh, friends, it is the case. We've been another hour of stream. 
We take a quick little ad break right now. We got three minutes of ads, so three minutes of crossword for sure. Delorfin, thank you for the resubscription, friend. 39 months, a lot of months, and I appreciate every one of them. Delorfin, good seeing you for sure. Humdrum, hope you have a good day. Hope everyone's a good day as we discover the mysteries of this game. You can play the demo right now over on Steam. If you do exclamation point what is in chat, you'll have the opportunity to get a Steam link you can click on, which will help me out for sure. Uh, but then also, there's a totally free demo. So you can play the game, you can say, Resorty, what you should be doing is, and then we'll all be quite impressed, and that would be a good thing. Delphine, you had work today, so it was a good day. I'm glad to hear that. Hopefully you're relaxing now a little bit also. All right. Yes, Thula, if you click that link, I'd appreciate it. Take you over to uh, Steam, where you'll learn more about this game, and it's 10% uh, off right now if you want to play it yourself. And I thought I'd seen everything. I saw an elephant fly. That's a very strange song from Dumbo. I thought I'd seen everything. Uh, pigs are flying. Something must be flying. Uh, Christmas in France. What do y'all call Christmas in France? Is this Yule or something? Maybe. A uh, proofage instruction. Stet. Let it stand. A uh, source of some wax. Maybe a bee. Who knows? A uh, government emissions testing site. Uh, I think they're often. Um, what are they even called? The air quality? Carburetor? Something. Uh, it might be punctuated with not. So something not. Uh, some kind of joke, possibly. A group of flyers. I mean, obviously, like airplane passengers, uh, geese, ducks. Um, I think flyers, if we're uppercase, would be a hockey team. That'd be pretty cool. A simple shelter, a yurt, a hut, a cabin, maybe. Cabins are not necessarily simple at all. A lean-to. Lean-tos are very, very simple. A person who might struggle with academic jargon. Anyone reading Heidegger, what do you want? Uh, a non-academic, a lay person, possibly. We'll see if that's right. Uh, the dance class painter Degas. Well, their name is Degas. <laughs> Uh, the only U.S. state motto in Spanish. Um, so they either want the state's name or they want the motto. I'm not sure which one. Uh, I mean, New Mexico feels very likely as a state motto in, in uh, Spanish. Um, probably not Texas. Probably not California. I'm going to say, I think actually California's motto is Eureka. Say New Mexico, we'll see if that's right eventually. A triangular landform. A triangular landform. A naturally appearing... Uh, naturally appearing uh, pyramid, possibly. Could I upgrade the iron mine if I move transport wooden stone there? Eka, maybe so. We can try that in a little bit. A school in Greenwich Village. I don't know. Uh, some university in New York. I don't think it's NYU, though. A brawny dudes. I don't know, Jim Bros. Get in hot water, probably bathe. Okay, a request that someone might make to stick their other tongue. Let's say ah. Uh, so the mimosa has fresh OJ. I was stuck on some word being fresh and then a two-letter like berry name, but fresh orange juice, great. Um, freezing cold. I'm just absolutely unsure on this one. Absolutely unsure on freezing cold. I have no idea. Um, recipient of a bequest is a... It's not just a let's see. It's something C, definitely. Mm. A piece of popular 60s footwear. The good old go-go boots. Go-go boots. Um, both in Spanish. Los dos. Por que no los dos. Little fish in a big pond. PM as an ending looks absolutely terrible. Uh, I think that layperson's probably incorrect. Though, made like mascara in the rain. Well, sure, that's ran then. Is it California? No, it doesn't fit. Anyway, this is ran here, and then we're back to our other game. See so if we can upgrade the... Iron Mine. That'd be great if so. Alright, we return once more to a little game called Bulwark. We want to make a Bulwark. First, though, let's go meet some more people. Who's it going to be? Another ship. 
Hello, ship people. Word amongst free house traders that you offer respite for weary captains. Will you have me and my ship? All right. So another transfer vessel that will move workers' wood, stone, and iron. More yeah, ports, road, more intrigue. good. Uh, we're gonna turn to our iron line over to the east. While we're here. What are you? Oh, this is my <laughs> precipitously placed <laughs> temple, apparently. <laughs> and no losses. This game is on Steam. Yeah, if you do exclamation point what the is, you get a Steam link. Has been spotted on the horizon. Perhaps we can take these people in. Yeah, you get a Steam link. Um, there's a demo right now, Milwasi. So it's exclamation point what is all one word. And then you'll be able to see it yourself. Uh, we are home once more. And the game was just released yesterday, I believe. Earlier today, maybe. All right, so here we are. Here we are, here we are. May I upgrade Iron Mine? No. I may not. So my sense is the resource extractors are not allowed to be upgraded at all. Now, are the ports allowed to be upgraded possibly? Also, no, unfortunately. All right. Maybe we should build a port down by the wood. There's no an extractor there. Uh, I'm gonna accept refugees. We really keep being told that maybe accept refugees. That maybe accept refugees. That maybe maybe a go do it. Darn it. So I will go do it, darn it, and see what we have happen by allowing in filthy Imperiums. Imperials. People who worship their former emperor as a living god. Uh, whom are you? This meager holding was always a last resort. Free Housers! This meager holding was always a last resort. We, this meager holding was always a last resort. So people like us. permanent home. Demolish this temporary haven so we can rebuild upon a spot of your choosing. So I can place them somewhere else. Now, if I want to, I can put a port here. But how do I place them elsewhere? I think we have to destroy it first. Cat. We destroy their house. We destroy their house. I hope it's not having people, like, go swim. Ah, their house has been fully destroyed now. I can now place a seahorse thing elsewhere. Now, is it a good idea to place that somewhere totally separate? Because other times I've had to place, for certain outposts, I have to have wood nearby. I'm going to put it back at our main base and see what happens. Hello, Vera. This game is called... Bulwark Falconeer's Chronicles. And it's a game in which you build a base on some islands. You build a base in the sky. Uh, so I'm going to place you all here. Excellent. We have an outpost that provides workers. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influence is the balance of power for your settlement. Okay, I don't know if placing the outpost so close to my base was a mistake, <laughs> but it apparently produces more workers. So may I connect you now to the rest of the base? You cannot build here. There is no tower with access to wood nearby. Okay, I can't attach it from this side. What if I attach from here instead? So... Hey, okay, so we've built a outpost connector now. Now the outpost can upgrade. There is no iron available for this upgrade. No iron. We'll get more iron soon. Upgrade the road also. Let's take a minute to look at what we've built. It actually looks really cool. Like, regardless of my confusion about how to actually play parts of the game, like, this looks really, really nice. And our dirigible charging around looks absolutely lovely. Apparently we're up there, inside that overseeing a panopticon looking always at once. 
We have our little boat moving around. I like my boats. I like my boats very much. There is no iron available for this upgrade. Okay. I'd like more iron, but I don't think I can have more iron. So, where else could we go explore? Travel to Sacred Steps Embassy. So, I know I just uh, replaced that embassy in a place that is not part of their base. If I bring it, if I destroy it again, maybe I can bring it all the way home. Or I think it'd be a nicer place to be. I'm going the wrong direction. North is this way. Hey, Valker, you're curious about this title? Absolutely. It's, uh, it's lovely, at least. And I'm learning, learning, learning. But there are some elements I'm not totally sure on yet. So maybe with your being here, you can help me figure out stuff I don't quite know. You can play a demo right now. There's a demo over on the Steam page. Has been spotted on I don't care about refugees. I only care about my little temple over here. Hello, little temple. You're going to come with me again. So click into it. Destroy, destroy. I think it's now being carried inside of the Overseer. The Overseer is going for a swim. What are you doing? <laughs> Your entire purpose is to fly above everything. And you decide to go for a swim. Alright, uh, so may I place this thing on land now? I place it here in the water. Sure. So we now have the embassy. And I'd like to connect the embassy to the rest of my town. Done. Upgrade it. There's a random chance event where an NPC settles a resource you can trade between those two. Uh, Elephant's very cool. I'm not too worried about spoilers or mechanics. Um, Storyline, yeah. Mechanics, not so much. But uh, Elif not, thank you for the helpful uh, random event. I look forward to learning about that. Okay, so we stole the temple and brought it south to us. That seems good. Maybe we should go meet old smelly log floater over there. So you are to the west. Smelly log floater is an amazing name. Are we going for our swim? Uh, yes, possibly. No swim, unfortunately. Gotta get this thing cleaned off somehow. A resource colony ahead. Resource colony. Uh, As a smelly log floater, may have resources that I can use. Here we go. That looks like a skull. This is a mistake, I'm sure. This wood mill and all of its C3 production are for the Banalists. They say it's under our protection. Okay, they're called the Bannerless. So may I conv uh, convince Lecter Leathers of Smelly Log Floater to join me eventually? They want to trade workers for wood, I believe. Trade this wood mill. So trade before trade. But we lost some good fighters. How about you send over some workers to the trade harbor and we can send some wood in exchange? Ah, uh, look at their little intimidated by me. I could declare Advice. war. Bring it. But I don't see a reason to do that right now. So here, let's have trade harboring indeed. Requires resources that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries. Be sure to build a connecting harbor. Assigning the right captains that will this harbor isn't connected yet. I have to connect the harbor first to and then give it a captain as well. Where captains can be assigned. All right, so back to our ship, head home, get some workers, have them delivered to there. We need a captain who can move wooden workers both. Uh, each captain can only move certain things. Let's figure out what exactly they need to move or can move. Our first ever trade relationship. Okay, so port number two needs building. Already connected. Stone and workers only, nothing else. Stone and workers know. My ship only carries wood and workers. Captain Alexander, you're the man I've been looking for. Wood and workers. It's a risky route, we're told. 
A new home. Seeing it prosper fills me with pride. So I'd like to assign I'll transport anything you wish our to. military ships, if possible. I serve to protect our people. Here we go. I will patrol and defend here. So Captain Salad Tree can be deployed the there. Pirate would do well to avoid my guns. I will or the gunship. I would give him the gunship. It's now protected risky. I will carry stone and work. May I assign two military I ships here? My ship stands it's now protected a safe route. All right, so hopefully the captain's way is doing now. Oh, look at him go. Look at him go already. And the gunships come along as well. Oh, it's very cool. Now, my other... My other route does not have anything guarding it. Is that a problem? Also, where is the other port? Here? Wait, port two, I believe, is actually this one here. Maybe? <laughs> I am now lost. <laughs> lost in my own city. Uh, that's the port I just built. The other one I know is out at the iron location. So you look at that. It's to the east. Rotates to the north is north again. What's this? Wow. Uh, one heck of a mountain. But there's no wood here. So if I try to build there, the game will say, you idiot, you have no wood, you cannot build there. A refugee settlement has been spotted no refugees. On the He's looking for iron. Uh, hello to you, other port. Do you have Your risk here? Safe route, no here. problems. Okay, so we out to the east here. There's a location that has um, stone. And then more refugees. I'm hoping eventually a refugee will be able to give me a resource collector. They'll have the items I need to continue building. Is it a giant ship? <gasps> no. I thought it was all one giant ship, but no, it's it's something else instead. Oh, they do have a ship that's running ground, though. Now, here's another city. These are Imperials, I believe, so... Imperials, no. Okay. Now, just south here, we saw a bunch of ships running ground in this area. Yeah, look at them all. Is it possible for me to... Do anything with these? Our settlement's too far away. As I can't change into f um, building mode, take them apart. So I think it's said there's a reminder of all the things we do not have. Fancy ship, for example. Uh, we can just go back to continue building towers on our capital. Does anybody know what I should be doing right now? Like, is there anything you figured out about the game that I have not figured out yet? I'd love to see what happens next. Like, ideally what I want to do is find a way to expand to the other lovely little territories. Most notably the ones that have wood and so on. But I don't know how to do that, unfortunately. How's it going, RR? How's the game so far? Um, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm enjoying the, the look of it. I like flying around. Uh, the building I'm finding a little confusing. Um, so... Choose Imperial or Technomancer. Ignore this faction. <laughs> um, there are three factions. We could try the other factions, I suppose. But this faction, I'm not quite figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. But you might be right about that. <laughs> I just want to be traitors, man. I just want to be traitors. I have nothing else we can go and build more things here. So can you upgrade? Hey, upgrades. And we build these foundation things also. That gives places for people to move in if they want to. Our population should continue increasing. If we bounce to here, we then have a tower up top. Beautiful, beautiful. And then one down below as well. And we upgrade all the connections as well as the towers. There is no iron available. Uh, again, we have no iron. So more iron production would be absolutely amazing. Let's upgrade the line between the two of them. It's now stone. Same this way. And click through and upgrade you as well. Population is what now? 
1579. I think my current goal is to get population to 2000. Why? Because it's a number that has some zeros in it. Uh, bounce forward, upgrade you also. Maybe place the next outpost on a new island? That's a good idea. It's a very good idea, Eka, to try to do um, outposts somewhere different than where they have been so far. I like how you think. Uh, this is a wooden row here. How are you attached? To here, I believe? Okay, then bounce to this one. Down to here. All right. Lots more refugee settlement has improved buildings. What do we see? Perhaps we can take these people in. Need more foundation, possibly? Foundation allows expansion, apparently. So down here, how about some foundations in the sea? Isn't it lovely? A little helipad there. Okay. Up we go. So... Rest assured, friend. My if I transport wood to the Iron Mike, I build my island. That's a fine question. Um, I, I guess I guess build another port then, maybe. The work on our port go, and try to bring wood over there and see what happens. So I'm I'm not seeing port building here at all. Hey, Grubs, how's it going, friend? Okay, no ports are allowed in there, it seems. One's allowed out here, though. Alright, so build yet another port. And you're gonna hopefully move stone and workers only. wood and iron else. back and forth. Now I have no idea where trying to go. My ship carries wood. Uh, wood is I'm not wood and iron, but that's anything you wish me to. The fighting reef glider carries absolutely everything. I'll ferry your Maybe later. For now, My ship just wood guy. I uh, wood guy, I'm gonna try to have you deliver your wood over to the iron resource location. There's not a lot of possible building here. But you know what? If I'm moving wood, I believe wood is useful to let me build in other places. So how about on the little, or big island to the north, we see if we're able to make wood delivery. What kind of people are you? Well, friends. These are hard times, and thus they bring the need for uneasy alliances. My group and I have been on the run for so long, we seek refuge and will submit to your service. Pirates. So pirates will join me. Bannerless These alignment instead of the Empire. Times. Sure. Oh, so I can destroy their home now. And then they can come along with me to the next location. There's a building in there somewhere. Ah, we now have the outpost with us. I think we have to drop it off before we can do anything else. Now, we were wondering what happens if we put an outpost on an island other than your main home. We'll try that at this larger island to the west. Okay. Big and beautiful, and would you like an outpost? Excellent. We have an outpost that provides workers. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. This influence is the balance of power for your settlement. Okay, I believe the outpost might be too far away for me to build anything build on. There is uh, no tower. No wood here, so cannot nearby. build. So may I then put a pier here as well? Or it appears to be only by a refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Okay, I don't see a way of making wait, wait, there it is. There's the pier. Up here. This is too close. There. Alright, so we have a second pier now. And so wood should be brought here. I think. Eventually. If I push control, workers are going out. But the ship I have assigned here. 
can't move workers. You can only move wood. But there is wood here now. Hey, Garbin. Uh, we started a while ago. And we started... When do we start? <laughs> we started a while ago. Uh, probably about uh, two hours ago or an hour and a half ago or so. And so, kind of figuring stuff out still. That said, we've made... Our waters. It's marked on the map. Something new. Look! Tower's a new tower place! Fantastic. There also, someone's no entered my waters. So... Right by our base. Hopefully they're friendly, whoever they are. Gotta go home for this one out. They better not be bombarding us. Alright, hello to you, boat. What you got going? Here for conversation. Ruffians are all that is left in this world. May the water take their splinters. Grant me safety, and I will grant you my ship. Uh, another interesting bannerless captain. Three trade more, more bannerless folk. They can be assigned to transport. Food. Now, on one of these ports, I think this Are one. No, this one. Things are good. Yes, I want someone who can move both wood and workers back and forth. I'll ferry all. I'll anything but people. I'll there we go. You we can do literally anything. I want to I'll save them if possible. Things are good. So we have just wood, Things just workers. Good. Things are good. I will carry I'll ferry all. I'll transport anything you uh, you do everything, Captain good. Lucas. Things are good. Unassign you, please. My ship carries wood. Cap. So we have a new functional island. Now the island is going to be bannerless. We have 56 bannerless people now. Need more military vessels for sure. We're gonna go to war one of these days. Not quite in the right spot, so we're to the west instead. What's that? Also a volcanic building of some sort. It's quite red. What is this bit of redness? The world seems angry. It is in fact a volcano. It does not seem active currently. But it's not anything we can build on right now. It'd be interesting to see uh, a town built up around that thing. I thought we'd have to get more wood over here, possibly, or a new outpost, maybe. I now feel very silly having thrown one of my outposts in the middle of my base, uh, my main base. Is that how you uh, populate other locations? By having outposts here and there? Okay, so here we can build up some more. Now we only have wood coming. We have stone here also to expand out. But have another pier possibly. At the moment we're taking over with more and more. Wood, wood, wood. I was wondering we make the uh the bridge here is you're making it to wood over and over again. No, not there. <laughs> up, please. Please go up. No, not over there. <laughs> How do we find a way on top of this beautiful location? Uh, go around and upsie daisy. Upsie daisy. That's not going to work, is it? Never mind. Let's continue our climb. Is power a thing in this game? I don't believe so. I, I believe our power is like a power projection as opposed to um, like force power as opposed to uh, electronic power. Electric power. Are, are people moving in now? Population here is 1790 and 68 still. We're still mostly freeholders. And we have some stone here for reasons I don't fully understand. Oh, maybe by putting this ship here that moves everything, it's helping to move some of the wood and iron as well. Just not a lot. Uh, may I upgrade the outpost building here? I may. Does that give me more workers then? 
It's four now. Good. So instead of three, we have four. Upgrade again. All you can do for now. Can. Population is 1838 and 116. They're going to go in the right direction. All right. We'd like to find additional refugees of the worthy kind. Imperials, no. I'll say hello to you just to sink you into the ocean. Bye. So, we're still looking for other resource extractors. I'm trying to go visit other people in our parts of the world here and see if they're willing to give me um, resource extraction. Now, Molten Stream here, I believe is a faction will trade with me. The other ones I'm less sure about. So I think it's this direction, northwest. Oh, can I put like a, a mark on the main map, on the world map? Say like, please go here. Wait, I have an inventory. Huh. I have an inventory. Outposts and unique buildings just mantle me viewed here. So we can save buildings in the inventory instead of having to carry them out outrightly, I think. Battle group experience is rookie. We haven't had a single battle yet. Also a soul tree. So these are all of the people I believe who are part of our our force. We have a forge master, a master mason. I don't know what any of you people do, but I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so delighted. We have one bannerless citadel. Oh, it looks very cool anyway. I like the tree thing. Uh, at the moment, though, we're heading outside of our territory for the first time ever. And someone's following me. It's just off screen, just behind me. Yeah, look at that. There's a ship that's following me. I don't know if it's part of my battle group or what exactly. I also have a falcon. So maybe we made our earlier command towers. They come along with us. Ah, uh, this is quite the trek, it seems. We gotta find a way of going faster. This feels like it might be a moment in Final Fantasy where it says, like, return home, you must upgrade your ship. Uh, we're halfway there. The tutorial could have been more extensive. Yeah, I understand Buildings the tutorial. The, horizon. The, the developer probably does not want to say, like, here's how to play the game. Play it exactly this way. It did say explore and try stuff. It's just a little confusing what to explore in what times. All right, midway out, we found some refugees. Hello to you. What are you? Are you a science lab? The guild used to have surveyors, explorers, wreck divers, and more. All funded to keep trade going. Lightkeeper Julius. Welcome. Thank you for the guild facility. So look forward to having us join our main base after a little bit. For now, though, you get smushed. And so now inside of my inventory, I should see that building, yes? Yes. We can carry one construct, and there it is. The guild's a modern incarnation of a pre-war mapmaker's guild. Their stocks of surveys will extend the range at which you can observe resources on the map. So, may I put that somewhere other than the main base? Because I don't know where else I can find resources I haven't found yet. <laughs> I'll figure out eventually. Resource colony ahead. All right, more resources. What do you all want to trade with me? This is a very, very long route. I probably need more military ships to do the trade. Who are you kidding? Okay, so either they're intimidated by me or I'm intimidated by them. I assume that they're intimidated by me at least a little bit. So you wish to partake in our iron and steel. They want we'll stone, stone for iron. Harbor. A trading harbor requires resources that can then be exchanged for goods or mercenaries. 
Be sure to build a connecting harbor. All right, go back home captains. and get a captain to trade to there. Now, while we're over here, hey, bloody meatballs, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follow also. I'm glad you're enjoying me trying to figure out this game. We're trying our best, but thanks for the follow sincerely. I'm your science teacher of 29 years ago. I swear I'm an actual teacher today, but sciences are not my field. Of the possible fields, science is not one. But uh, thank you for the comp, but I'll take it. I hope you had a good relationship with that science teacher. I'd hate for someone to find uh, the stream and be like, oh, the person that you remind me of is the worst person in the world. <laughs> I'll check on the refugees also. Though, if it's a refugee outpost, I can't carry it. I can carry one building at a time right now. So... Almost back home. Almost there. So we'll drop our outpost building. As well as we'll drop our... Um, new port. And then we need some more military ships. So we gotta find more anomalies for that. Why do we trade if we can produce resources at home? A resource colony ahead. We can't do enough, unfortunately. Like this area here, I'd love to build, but we don't have a resource extractor. So you have no available resource. We don't know how to get more extractors quite yet. It'd be great if we could. All right. So new outpost building. Stop moving, stop moving. You have no available resource extractors. Put it on the side there. The guild of the building now. Wow, it's red. Red's pretty cool. So it helps us to find more resources at greater, greater distance, apparently. So we're going to plug it in. Noise. We got a stone. Perfection. Okay, we then need another port for trading with our recently met bannerless pirates. And it's trade carry stone and workers only. wood Back for stone? Else. No, stone for the iron. Carries... I'll ferry your work. Anything but people. Keep that stone, away. iron. It's a risky route, unfortunately. Route so I should borrow one of my military ships from this route here. Seen it this route is acceptable. Any pirate would do well. So we don't have a safe route at all, unfortunately. We now at least have two defensive ships. This route will do. Huh. One second. This route will do. Are sloops actually combat also? My ship carries wood. Things are good. No, no, it's, they're not. <laughs> they're not at all. Oh, here we go. Here's the uh, steam rake ship. So they're each protected now. Not perfect, but okay. Okay, at least. Um, random, unfortunately, I can't make the, um, the Twitch integration work. I tried earlier. I'd, I'd love to let you all do Twitch integration. But there's some error when I try to load it in. Uh, but it would be cool, wouldn't it, to let you be, uh, spawn things. That's one of the cool features about this game, is that you're able to have uh, your Twitch chat interact with you as a player and make good decisions and bad. But apparently it's not working right now, unfortunately. Uh, I'm trying to make a command tower here. So I have another one of those fine commander fellows. So you have more birds with me. What I want birds, I don't know, is build the tower ever higher. We'll scrape against the face of God. Ah, uh, that's high as it goes, apparently. You have no available commanders on No commanders. Place. Commanders and their valuable retinue can be found across the earth. Sea. I must find more commanders. Instead, more refugees. What kind are you with the little yellow spires? Imperium. We are reduced. No. <laughs> so the one group of people I refuse to help is the Imperium. I don't know why, but I've decided I'm against them. Okay, so we have two safe routes and then two kind of neutral routes as well. 
Maybe we should go meet the Maw and see what awful things will happen there. Or we should try to help, continue trying to help upgrade the uh, the new outpost. And we are using our one ship there that carries absolutely everything. So it might be interesting to... Uh, I'm going the wrong direction. We found some islands out here, though. Land ho! Our trading ships are being targeted. My trading ships are being attacked! What? 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 All right, so right here, combat is happening. I wish to... Fire on the trading ships. I'm coming as fast as I can. Don't worry. Dad will save you. You're very far away. <laughs> Alright, perhaps I've had some foolish arrogance and gotten more trading routes that I can support. I see tack attack attack is happening. Enemies are wreaking havoc. A captain has lost their ship. Uh, we lost a ship, but at least we're here now. So how does fighting work? So it looks like you fly around and auto fire. Uh, more piratical problems. Victory! Our the first skies are clear once more. ever victory. Now we lost a ship apparently. Does that mean the trade route's off? We lost our our combat ship on this route, I believe. Maybe, maybe. Should we declare war on them? Oh, hello. Who are you? Glad to see you, sir. On a simple More transport. You have okay, fine. A trade ship captain. They can be assigned to transport goods. So that did not quite work out. Um, right. We're heading up to our new outpost, which is northeast-ish. Rotate. I was trying to warn you that I'm rotating. I worry it might be uh. A little upsetting to one's stomach, if not. Uh, let's look at the anomalies anytime we can in hopes of finding additional military ships to help us out. Uh, a little bit. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. Northwesty. Perhaps we can take these people in. Okay. I'd like to help you all build now. I think you have some things here at least. They have wood, they have workers, they have stone, they have iron. We can upgrade some to get some more population. Also, nearly 2,000 population again in our main base. So population is going down. I don't know if that means we're seeing uh, migration between the locations or what exactly is occurring. For now, though, with the stone we have, we can make bigger and better. Stone entrance now. Okay, everyone becomes at least stone now. Okay, I'm attached to this one here. How do I get onto this particular building? There we go. Looking from above will do it. I'll click in then and upgrade it from wood. Same with this one. Stone. Uh, is population increasing up to 192 now? That moment it was previously, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Click to here. And up to go. Built some foundations also. I build tower the foundations was well, definitely a foundation. A milestone in our population, aligning with the bannerless pirates. This will attract new pirate captains and commanders to our. Okay, so we have no stone available for captains upgrade. that are joining us. It's so a hope that they're able to run ship protect my trade routes. But this is upgrade as much as I can do until more stone shows up. Our alignment is faltering. We must maintain the truth of who we are. Oh, what a dark and stormy night we have here. And this might be the first time we're seeing nighttime. I don't know if it's actually nighttime or if it's instead just, uh... Looks pretty nighttime, actually. I was thinking maybe it was storm instead. But at this base, we now have... 
uh, a lot of everything. So once again, we try to upgrade stuff. Negative four workers here. Why? <laughs> Why are you showing negative four workers? Um, now, I know I put this outpost here. It's giving positive four. So maybe if you have two outposts together, which is definitely not ideal, then they negate each other. Or they, they um, cancel out, rather. So let's try to go destroy this one and move it to New Island instead. Oh dear, where are we? So, Resorty Smash. Okay, so in our inventory, do we now have that outpost? We do, we do. Okay, so let's find a new place to take that one. I don't know. Head over to the wood place over here. And uh, hopefully learn how to extract that wood eventually. Ship, entered our waters. It ship in our waters once more. Okay, this is probably a pirate ship going to join us. Is here. So where is it? <laughs> too many, too much fog today. Not a good day for sailing at all. It's straight to the right of my ship, to the west generally. Henry David Thoreau has a little essay called Now Comes Good Sailing. This is definitely not what we're seeing today. Awful sailing, awful pea soup. You want the fastest runner on the Ursi? Ah, uh, your transport. I don't need transport. How do you do though? Trade ship captain. They can be assigned. Ah, uh, so it's one captain per port. No, it's not. There are three slots, aren't there? I've been using one for trade and some for um, defense. I could put in additional additional traders though if I wanted to. To move back and forth, I don't know what though. Hey Peabody, how's it going? I Hope for a good day. Another transport vessel. You have enrolled a trade no. ship captain. Not what they I need. Military ships, please. Uh, it's a north easty. Sorry, northwesty is where additional wood is. I do kind of wonder if I can build between these two. Buildings on the horizon. I'll go to the buildings in a moment. For now, though, let's deploy our new ship here. Not new ship, our new outpost here. Um, why can't I build here? Our settlement too far away. So we do have the outpost here. Now, maybe this area doesn't belong to us. Maybe it belongs to the Bannerless, and so we're not allowed to construct there. Oh, there we go. It has to be in shallow water. We found it. Yeah. Excellent. New outpost. We have an outpost. More workers. workers. Be mindful of an outpost's allegiance. Now this we need another port here to get element. wood. We're only the one wood location right now. I will carry stone and workers only. My ship carries wood. Oh, doesn't the... The trade harbor right next to here. What does that trade harbor send? Hmm. The clicking does not show me, unfortunately, what it's sending. I can fast travel there, though. Now we're here. What do you trade again? Sucks, piss. What a awesome. Bad idea. Awesome. So it is the case they trade workers for wood and the new colony will make workers automatically. So, I want another port here. You cannot build a harbor. It must be this blue. To another harbor. Oh, can I only have one trader, or one trade location per trader? Like one, one port per trader? Unfortunate if so. Ah, uh, in that case, we'll have to go back to our main base and set up a new port out to here. But I need more defensive ships also. We're really exactly the wrong direction. Oh, can I fast travel? Wait, wait, wait. Fast travel, please. Fast travel, please. 
Nice. All right, that helps quite a bit. I think you can only travel to places you've been previously. Is that true? Or may I fast travel to locations? Yeah, clicking here does nothing. So maybe only things that you own personally, like your ports and various locations. All right, so we want to have another port here that shifts wood and people back and forth. Where may I put another port? You have no available. Hmm. I think I'm not actually touching what I mean to be touching. There we go. It's in the water now. Build right there. Nice. All right, so you the then route is now connected. The captain need a captain. But put the captain the other forth. side, I believe. Put it on the wood. So random, I don't think you can put it on the wood. Like, I agree that there is wood right here. But you have to have a resource extractor, I believe. And we don't have resource extractors, so there's no way to... I believe there's no way for us to activate the extractor. Where we've activated this uh, iron, there is no second extractor. That's one of our struggles, is how to activate those. If anybody knows, I'd love to find out. Uh, may we upgrade the port? No, that's not a thing. <laughs> Stop being silly, that's not a thing. Uh, so now I want to fast travel to the other side, to this port, where I can then give a captain, I believe. I will carry stone and workers. Uh, workers and wood, wood ideally. My ship only carries wood and workers. Hello, Alexander. You're perfect. You Just what I needed. Buildings on the horizon. All right, so wood will now come here. So we start building up. But for the moment, another outpost or something. Wait. You already known. Fighting is happening. Wait, again with the combat. What direction is the combat? I see angry fighting happening somewhere here, but is it my ships? Is it... Okay, it's off the side there. What extractors on the airship? I believe none. So in our inventory, we can see we have uh, zero, zero, zero on the extractors, unfortunately. That's all I want to figure out is how to get more of those. Still have not figured that one out. Okay, so south... West, there's fighting happening. Let's go and help level up our ship or something good. Where are their pirates? I flew directly over top of them. <laughs> Where are their pirates? Or is it possible we went to war against the the bannerless here? I don't think I did. I don't remember attacking them. Hello. Hello? Uh, we're looking right at it now. So we're over top of what we're fighting. A raiding party is targeting your trade. Hey, okay. Now that our raiding party has gotten over to here now. No, no, no. Now, how do I quick go to that side to so travel here and then must go west, young man? That Hostiles. is west. Man that... All right. A great victory. <laughs> I didn't do anything. There's more and more. A victory. The skies are clear once more. All right. So I got experience points apparently on my ship. What did that actually give us? It's in, in, the, in the inventory. We're now a capable battle group. I have no idea what I did <laughs> other than just show up. But, hooray! <laughs> All right, so back to this outpost, which should now have wood. Hello to you. Uh, with your wood, may I begin to build a 
place for us to live. There's a place for us. A time and a place for us. Oh, uh, beautiful. On top of the, uh... Maybe the promontory? Is that the word I want? Something like that. Okay. A lovely encirclement. Now, all we have here is wood, correct? Yeah, workers in wood. Wood, that's it. So we made some, like, little wood foundation pieces. And does that help our population? Our population is, in fact, going down. We were over 2,000 freebooters for a while. Uh, and now we have 264 of the pirates. I don't know if people changed their faction or, or what exactly. But let's go visit some new people I've not engaged with previously. For example, the Naughty Lock Basilicus. We'll see if we have ways of interacting with them other than just going to war. So they're to the west, which is this away. Now, I know this is one of the other big factions. Uh, the Makers or Maw or Mantle. The Mantle, I think it's called? Something like that. What kind of folks are they? Will they just throw a battle group immediately? Seeing a place called the Maw on the map seems pretty cool. I look forward to learning what exactly it is. Some kind of Marianne's Trench? Some kind of... A substantial settlement in the distance. Oh, wow. So the Maw is a mouth that wants to eat you up. Crazy. Look at this thing. Wow. I'm glad it doesn't have gravitational pull. Uh, here are the folks I was going to meet, though. What? You've never seen a Basilicus? A Mansa treasure box is what it is. Manser. Manser is what it is. This is a bannerless holder now, and no one can do a thing about it. Uh, so... This belonged to the Mansers, and now the pirates have taken it over, apparently. So these are pirates holding it. There is no trading. It's only declaring war. We're not interested in any of that. Good to go, thank you. I saved and closed, what I just do. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I meant to close this that window. <laughs> Here you get a take a word of uh, back into it, thank you. Click and build. All right, so when you save and close, you immediately fly back to your main base, it looks like. May I then fast travel to here? No, I may not. Absolutely not. The way to find more extractors is an exhaustive search of the map. All right, thanks for looking that one up. Thanks for that out for me. So, someone's going to have extractors that I can borrow, apparently. Let's go meet New Remit, or Remit, to the south. And on the way, we can find other... Anomalies, perhaps. So, to the south, maybe they'll have extractors for me to borrow. With all of our technology, you'd think we'll be able to build some extractors have ourselves. No available commanders on your roster. Commanders and their valuable retinue can be found across the Ursi. We're going to try to find more commanders, I swear. As a south westerly, here we go. Hey, sharks! Hey, sharks! A refugee settlement has been spotted on uh, Hello, refugees. Perhaps Do you have an extractor? People in. Or are you just more people? Our kin cannot... Our research post is not... Mansers. Our kin cannot stay out here exposed. We will move on and remember your rejection. So it seems the Mansers are kind of like magic people, possibly. Maybe it's like Pyromancer or... Ky uh, Pyromancer? Is that thing? I ice, ice wizards? What about for now, we're staying neutral with respect to the Mansers. I don't know how I just now recognize that Manser here means, like, wizard. Yeah. Cryo, but you're not, not Cyro, Cryo. I was totally stuck on that. Pyro, Fire. Absolutely. Necromancer. All these Manser words. Don't know how I missed it, though. Alright. Onward, onward we go. This is a very, very long path to go. And I think eventually we can level up our, our ship to be able to go somewhat faster, I'm guessing. 
but exploring the world is our current remit. Friends, our hours passed. In that hour, we can pause once more and do a little bit more crossword. Check out how that's going. And we have about a half hour left on this uh, this game as we continue exploring the beautiful world that it is. So I will pause this right now. Back to it in three minutes. The ad break's running. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're having a good day. Appreciate y'all very much. Let's see what more we can get done on the crossword between now and then. So, um, resident of a formicary. I still don't know what that is. Uh, only human. Mortal. Uh, projected pellets are BBs. Uh, reassurance from a listener. Uh, I hear you. Possibly. We'll see. A tree animals say... So an animal that's been treed is stuck in a tree? Like a kitty cat could be that. Uh, not sure, though. Uh, 90s Weekend Update Anchor Kevin. Okay, I used to watch Saturday Night Live in the 90s. Uh, what's the standard thing we say now? Back when it was good. I think you say that at this point. No matter when you watch SNL, that was back when it was good. Uh, is it Kevin O'Neill, I believe? I think that's right. No. Is it Kevin Fallon? Is it Kevin Fallon or Kevin O'Neill? I'm not sure which one. Let me think of Jimmy Fallon. I'm not sure. Uh, well, we'll figure out eventually. Uh, wrist decoration. Well, a bracelet comes to mind. A wrist decoration. Hmm. A property. Property. Um, the... The essence, the affect, the mm, a fusion genre that emerged from SoundCloud in the 2010s. Emo something. Is it emo rap, maybe? We'll see. The first Hebrew letter is Aleph. Uh, important street in the history of Memphis blues. Probably Beale Street, I'd guess. Uh, components of accordions, bagpipes, and clitornets. They're all reeded instruments. So bathe is wrong. Okay. Uh, Academy entrant is a cadet, probably. That's Caden for no good reason. <laughs> uh, mild Dutch cheese is probably Edam cheese. I'm not sure on that, though. A uh, place for Untuk. Um, the head in, in French, I believe it's P-A-T-E. Brawny dudes are he-men. Perfect. All right. Yo-yos. Are they only saying ding-dongs here? Like dumb people? Ding-dongs? Sure. Recipient of bequest is a l legacy. So maybe the person who gets your legacy is a legacy? Possibly. Um, freezing cold is... Something is wrong there. Um, destined for the life mediocrity. What's Gondo? Godno. <laughs> What's Gondno? <laughs> uh, Doom 2. Legacy instead, possibly? So. Algid is definitely wrong. Like, frigid seems plausible. Yo-yos. Uh, putting the G's back in. If something's wrong, it's probably that. Uh, words accompanying a reality check. I'm not a robot. Perfect. And I thought I'd seen everything. Uh, that's a first. Christmas in France. I have no idea. Government's emission testing site. An EPA lab, probably. Uh, it might be punctured with a... Not sarcasm. Group of flyers. Group of flyers. Mm. A person who might struggle with academic jargon. I said a lay person's a lay reader instead. So this is spelled incorrectly. Um, oh, tet. T T E is head in French. Look, friends. I know words. I know words. <laughs> so flies are probably an air fleet. Okay. Uh, the dance clan's painter Degas. Is he an Edouard and Edgar? Probably Edgar. Uh, only U.S. state motto in Spanish. 
So it's the model itself, not the state's name. Plata, I like, but what kind of Plata is it? Unsure. Triangular well land for the Delta at the end of the um, at the end of the uh, rivers. Is NYU in Greenwich Village? I did not know that. Uh, getting hot water is probably steep. All right, we're very very close to being completed. Tree animals, a topiary. It's made out of trees, an animal. Uh, Noel is probably how the French say Christmas. Uh, Kevin Nealon, that's right. Kevin Nealon. So, what is the letter here? Eroy Plata. Eroy Plata. Oreo. Oh, Oro E Plata. Uh, gold and silver. Woo! Woo! Uh, Dede, uh, you're here for the French words, your first language. There are a number of French speakers in this channel, and my entire shtick is apologizing to them. Constant apologies. Yeah, what's the cold thing? Good point. The cold thing is, is algid. I do not know this word. It is time to learn a word together right quick and then back to our video game. Hello, Fritz. What does algid mean? It must just mean, like, cold, but... It's a very cold and lonely word, etymologically speaking. It's the only word in any dictionary published that comes from the Latin word algere, meaning to feel cold. Yeah, I know cold, frigid, and arctic, or chill, but algid. Did that be said correctly? Uh... If there's not an official Google pronunciation, I don't believe any of these. <laughs> so, uh, in English. It's probably an Estonian word. That's not true. Uh, if I go to English and type in this, what does our good friend Google say it's said as? Algid. Algid. I apologize. Might be Algid, not Algid. 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 How do you say it in Estonian? Algid. Algid. All right, very good. We had a good time. We had a good time. We learned some things. All right. Probably half an hour left in this game today. And then after that, not quite sure what we're going to do. But uh, if you've not checked Buildings it out yet on over on good old Steam, I'd appreciate your doing so. Exclamation point. What is in channel? Or the announcement comes around once every 15 minutes. If you'd like to see what this game is, I sure would appreciate it. And uh, yeah, maybe you'll enjoy playing it. There's a demo right now also. The demo will let you uh, play for free to see if you like it too. What is this? Are you a wood extractor? Uh, salutations. It appears that my previous patronage has neglected to supply our station here and has left us stranded. This might be a wood extractor. The Master Millwright Rauscher will join us. Hello. Now, may I take apart your house? And do you finally give me the ability to make wood? So, V for destroy. They take away every single part of their base. It is on a wood extractor. Do I have finally extractor? Someone asked earlier how you get these. We have a wood mill finally. Woo! <laughs> All right. So... So, 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 so. Um, <laughs> thank you, Fernando. I appreciate that. <laughs> thank you for reminding me of all of the unused commands I don't clear. So we're currently bringing wood to here. If we have an extractor, we would not need to do that. We could also grab the one in the middle and have yet another port to move the wood around. I don't know what getting more wood does for us, other than, sure, seems like a good thing to have. So, I want to continue heading south to see who we meet at New Remit. Uh, probably initial trade hub there. So, we're heading southerly once more. So, probably after we finish this game in half an hour or so, I'm definitely going to get some coffee. My coffee's been out for a while, and I'm missing the opportunity to take a little sip from time to time. Hey! Oh, I thought it was the moon. A substantial settlement in the distance. Oh, the moon. No, it's just a trade harbor. Or some other faction, at least. 
you're glad the goal isn't our backpack must expand so we do more backpack Tetris. I was thinking of playing backpack battles next. <laughs> that was a real possibility. <laughs> I know you don't want Fear Anathos, I'm so sorry. I know it is not a game for you, but... It might be a game for me. Possibly. Possibly. We need wood, and we can offer you some iron for it. Wood for iron. I can get more wood fairly easily. Let's go, let's go. A trading harbor requires resources that can then be exchanged for good this harbor isn't connected yet. okay we must connect to somebody else to joined up to a and so they want wood for iron i could probably just get wood here and trade back and forth there's no reason for that though because there's no reason for that though because the iron wouldn't do anything at that location. So instead we go back up to base. And I guess I'll extract the wood there. Me as well. Don't worry, tomorrow we're gonna start playing Millennia, for those of you who are not exactly into yieldy card game. Millennia's coming tomorrow though, guarantee. Alright, so wood location is over here. Our second extractor, the world becomes more and more mine. Your surveyor can build a wood mill here. Build it and attract craftspeople and industry around it. Improving the distance wood can be supplied in our settlement. How do I place it? I don't want a port. I want the wood extractor thing. You're clicking exactly the right location, I believe. There we go. We got it. A new millwright begins working. This resource extractor is missing access to workers. We'll attach it and get some workers. Uh, it now has workers. You can build it up build some. on top of the sea tree fungi. These are needed to produce wood. Oh, uh, so you can't build it up anymore. Yeah, Grubzilla. I am playing with keyboard and mouse. Uh, when the game first loaded, a big screen came up that said, um, please use a controller. Go find any controller you can, use a controller. Now, I had a controller back in the US, and then the stream crisis came and everything fell apart all at once, and I stopped streaming and sold all of my streaming things, including the controller. And I tend not to play too many controller games, so I need to buy a new controller. And I've decided that after streaming today, I will go ahead and do that, using the very generous sponsorship money from this, uh, this game. But yes, I'll finally remedy the not having a controller issue. But this game is definitely preferable uh, to be played on controller. But, yeah. Oh, the last stream crisis. Not more than two years ago. I think we've been streaming consistently now for about two years, taking uh, only scheduled vacations and missing one day. So I'm pretty happy about that. Okay, we have more wood now. So I'd like to make a port around here. You have a Steam controller you don't use? I'll probably get another Xbox 360 controller, or whatever the current Xbox is, because that controller I like, like very, very much. And I don't quite know what makes a Steam controller work, or how, how does a Steam controller differ from other controllers? Those of you who use such things. I will carry stone and workers only. Ah, uh, so I need wood and steel. I'll transport people. I've been chased for stealing wood. Okay. So we have wood on one person. My ship carries I'll ferry all. I'll transport people. And then steal another one. Smooth sailing from here on out. So cranky about wood. Wood is being shifted. But or cranky about uh, people. So they can't move the people. Because there are people to move. That's fine. The steam controller is like a laptop touchpad. Um, probably not for me then. I mean, it's fine. But I like the kind of clunky controller with sticks and so on. Reminds me of the good old days. Uh, so we have more ships moving. It is not a safe trade route, but I have no more military ships. So I'll come and save you, I swear. Okay. I can go build up my northern base some more. It is... I could fly there. Quick tra travel all the way. Here we go. From here, we now have some stone and iron, all the rest. 
What's our population looking like? Our population just going down. <laughs> so definitely for a while there will be about 2,500 population. Anybody happen to know where my population went? I know we're trading some workers for wood, but does that then mean that we have like a constant drain on our population? Because that is, that is not what was planned. Alright, so move through. And over here is a non-upgraded building, so we'll upgrade that one some more. There is no iron available for this. No more upgrade. iron. That's fine. We build out this way. And build up between them into stone at least. Stone at least. Go. And then up we go again. There is no iron available. Uh, already out of iron already. Almost out of wood. And our population continues to fall off. Huh. Huh. This looks cool. As we zoom out, we can see the various connections from place to place. I do like this overlay very much. I think it's a nice kind of innovation. I've not seen a base builder show logistics this way previously. Now, with that said, it's only logistics of four resources. So imagine if you had like a full Rimworld or Factorio um, uh, logistics overview with many different colors and angles and lines drawn. It'd be absolutely overwhelming. Yeah, so maybe trading my population away is a mistake. I guess I didn't assume that workers and population were the same thing. I assumed they were somewhat separate. Alright, back to the good ship. Whatever this ship is. Let's go look for more anomalies. Because I need sea captains who have military ships most of all. And we look for more extractors also. Now, I wonder if it's possible that someone's already using these resource hubs. And I can de deconstruct them and use them for myself, possibly. Where else have we not been to? So up here is a place called the Temple of the Hidden Tears. So other temples we've seen previously, I've been able to take apart for myself. It's not clear what population is good for in this game. Bragging. High score. <laughs> Feeling on the horizon. a sense of worth and accomplishment. Or the pride and accomplishment? A feeling of pride and accomplishment. Hello to you, Outpost friends. Where are you from? This place has seen better days. So we're a lightkeeper? Absolutely. All right. Have the lightkeeper come with us. Uh, so what does the Lightkeeper building do? We can see on the map here. This lighthouse will reduce the danger level of any trade route in its vicinity. Awesome. So we have trade routes to the south. Right here is kind of dangerous. So how about I just build the lighthouse on these islands here? As a way of hopefully protecting the big long trade route back and forth. And those are just west, I think. Yeah. All right. A raiding party is talking. Raiding party, no! Uh, so the raiding party is all the way to the south. Oh, this is a really, really bad trade route. <laughs> so I should build a lighthouse there instead. Uh, I don't see us getting there in time to save my ships. From here, it is now southwest. Southwest. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, that one I'm not able to immediately fly two locations being harried. It's a little challenging to imagine myself saving them at all. Oh, it's a bit of a run. It's a bit of a run. Enemies are wreaking havoc. A captain has lost their ship. One ship destroyed. We have one more ship on this route. We're never getting our time. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> so <laughs> we've learned an important lesson about uh, about trade routes that are even a little perilous. Come on, Captain. Fight back fiercely. Right, we see the firing happening. Begin firing your taka taka taka. Almost here. Hostiles, 
Man, the turrets. I'd like to contribute, please. Uh, there are their falcons. A great victory! The enemy is defeated. Everyone is defeated. pleased. Hooray, hooray. Victory for us. I think I wish the combat had a little bit more interactivity. Uh, as at least right, as right now, no one's ever fired upon us. It'd be nice if you could have to like fly around and, and shift quickly to try to help your um, vessel not take any damage. Instead, you just kind of fly in, shoot a few times, it's all over. But it seems that the combat's not as complex as the building is, for sure. Alright, so I had two ships on this trade route to move people and wood back and forth. And now one ship is still functional. I don't know what it's moving, though. What I do know is I want to throw a lighthouse in here, possibly, to hopefully help with the trade route. So that's back over this way. Put it on land. Cool. Now, does that make this area safer? Uh, it's still showing as yellow. So when said trade routes, I don't know if that means it has to be at the port or if it can instead be at the, um, like, midway along. All right, this is not the side to set up the trade route. It's back towards the base instead. Right there. Ish. So which captain Wood currently works here? And nobody's the Just wood guy. My ship carries wood. I'll bury your workers anywhere. Well, you're not carrying iron back right now. And we have no iron carriers, so time to go look for more anomalies. Hello, are you are you a combat ship? My ship has entered our water. Hello, ship. No, it's not. It moves iron, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> it is just what we needed to move the iron around. We haven't found a combat ship in a very long time. We found two in quick sequence a while back, and then nothing since. Captain John Boy. What a fine name that is. Okay. So, anomaly hunting for the next little bits. Let's back to the Stargazer. Isn't Stargazer something to do with Peter Pan? That might be false. I may be seeing absolute false words here. But what is the Stargazer? Peter Pan talks at least about like the what, third star on the left or something. It's how to get to Neverland. A resource colony ahead. Hey, resource colony. So does that mean I can take this apart? Trade Our research or... post has not been supplied in over a year. We would go post them. Okay, they call it a resource colony. It's instead a have more people of other kind joining you. Second star to the right, not third. The Stargazer is on next generation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So not Peter Pan at all, but instead Captain Picard. That's right. Thank you, Century, for remembering that. I'll have to turn in my uh, my nerd card at once for forgetting that one. Half remembering Peter Pan. Half remembering Star Trek. Today's a long, long day of a lot of half remembering. <laughs> I do want to see. So we leveled up again on our ship. Um, we're still experienced, but I believe we haven't increased our weapons at all. Like, I think our you know, point defense and speed and health is all just the same. Though we are increasingly experienced. Good. Good. Hey, Carknell, exactly right. This is in the same universe as the Falconer game. It's a Falconer uh, builder instead of the Falconer uh, shooter game. But you do see there are Falcon people who are along with us. Yeah, little Falcons flying around us. So when combat happens, it is tack attack attack from the Falcons. I'm glad you know that game. I've grabbed Zilla. Have a good night, my friend. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, nearly to Stargazer. I don't quite know what Stargazer's insignia is. In the so maybe it's a new faction I've not seen previously. Maybe the Empire. Wow. 
Whatever is beautiful. I wish to say hello, please. We are the Imperial Academy. The monster bounty of knowledge now feeds the Imperial ambition. What was hidden is now known, and by its virtues, the monster can never rise again. So the Stargazer is the Imperial Academy. They've taken the knowledge of the Manser and giving it to the Empire instead. We can trade wood for people if we want to. <laughs> Maybe they use the wood to make paper to uh, do more uh, science and such. Yeah. Right now, nothing thank you. Uh, hunting more anomalies. Oberon's Reach. So Oberon's Reach appears to be a Manser location. So this is perhaps the front the battle between the major factions. Uh, it's straight ahead and we'll reach Ulbrons. Call, port, reach. A large settlement ahead. Oh my goodness. Again, so much nicer than anything I'd ever make. This looks like it's surrounded with all kinds of flying dragons, I believe. This is the reach. The, the capital. The bastion of knowledge and enlightenment on the Ursi. From here, we seek to provide the people with knowledge and science. A force of stability in a world that does not want us here. Okay. So, a faction capital of people with the magic. We'll try this game again a second time for a controller. Probably so else still. Yeah, the flying has been a little rough, and then also the selecting of uh, buildings a little rough because I just do not know how to uh, effectively um, click on depth. Like the third dimension is particularly difficult buildings there. Buildings on the horizon. Uh, more buildings forward. It's not a ship. It's probably another outpost of refugees. Yeah, if the Twitch integration were working, you all would be able to spawn military ships for me to help me out with what I need to do, but fortunately not. The free house remnants, I presume. Hey, the of the Red Mouth Orphans, Forge Master. We you, and we wish to bring the glory of the Holy Or to your settlement. Okay, what kind of forge are we getting then? It's how to get more iron, finally. Finally, finally. So we take the forge apart. V. We can get more iron instead of our territory finally. Nice. Okay, I'm still gonna go visit the shard, because I wanna see what it looks like. And then when that's done, we'll head back to our base again. Hey, also absolutely right. I'm really hopeful that next time we play we're able to use the controller and also have Twitch integration. A raiding party is target. Okay, we're being raided. <laughs> Can I go straight to the trade route? Or to tra Lighthouse? I can. Finally! The Lighthouse is in a great position. Alright. I must defeat the Falcons. All Falconeers and escorts defend our ship. Perfect arrival. So the Lighthouse does help. Battle hardened. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, so we have this iron cluster now. If we go back to where we're from. There's iron immediately to the west there. Nice. I love the lighthouse so much now as it allows us to, uh... Oh, yeah, it allows us to... Travel to help. can build a mine on this spot. Workers and a will new mine, mine all, also. And the metallurgical industry will be built up around it. Mine so we can build around this thing if we get wood to it, I believe. But you'd have a port, probably. This resource extractor is missing access to work. So to move workers here also. So workers are needed first and foremost. Make another port. I will carry stone and workers only. Nothing else. So we need metal and My workers. Ship carry, I'll ferry your workers anywhere. My ship carry, I will carry stone and no way of moving metal at all. Ship, I'll ferry For now, we'll just move workers over here. Let's connect that to so nearby. Can't they just like, get small boats and move back and forth this themselves? To something else. 
Uh, at least workers are going now. This trade route is now connected. It would be nice if I could set up more complex trade routes to invite my um, people who are already carrying iron to also stop there and get some more. But we now look for anomalies and, as mentioned, head in the direction of uh, Salad Mount. <laughs> I was not planning to go Salad Mount. With a name like that, though, we gotta check it out. Wait, some character named Salad Something when the uh, game started. Not Salad Fingers, which is a very, very old internet thing. Actually, so long I don't remember exactly what it is. Just a word that stands out as that meant something back in the 90s. Salad Fingers. Ah, uh, had a very strange youth. Some people talk about going and playing stickball with their friends. Some people talk about. I don't know. Spend their time reading books. I talk about half numbered memes. Uh, this resource colony can have wood on it. Or against us. They just take what you want. No need to get violent. So, iron for wood. We still have no iron carriers. I'm going to say no for no. right now, also. All right, where is the maw thing? Maw thing is to the south, the shard, the shard, the shard. So I'm really pleased that traveling into other people's territory does not make them declare war on you. Uh, initially, I worried if we got close, they'd start bombarding us. But so far, we've only engaged in defensive battles. I like that you have to actively declare war on someone. A refugee settlement has been spotted on the horizon. I don't need refugees. Perhaps we can take these people. We need pirates. Salafingers loved Rusty Spoons. It was one of the early Flash animations. Okay. Remember that? Remember the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny or something? Very strange. I mean, this is all very strange. There are these Flash videos that people just made for free, I think. Like, back when the internet was good, when people just create things for free so you watch and enjoy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I think I know if someone's doing stuff, and you just watch for free if you want to. Ah, good to good. Uh, but, but no. No, no, no. That was, that was a fun period of internet history. People were just learning how to create pictures and such. Uh, yeah, a little off target here. This place looks slightly sick. A substantial settlement in the distance. Uh, so here is the shard. It is still kind of sulfurous, it seems. To whom do you belong? Are you the rat people? This is the entryway to Oberon's gate itself. The historic last stand of House Borgia when they opened it to the stars. The gate may now lie wrecked, but the Shard remembers. We remember the way this world existed before. And it can exist again. So apparently this is the storyline of the, the earlier games, is this what we're having revealed here. The, the battles that occurred along the Maw and the Shard and so on. Alright team, I believe that's going to be it for this game for today. Uh, definitely a beautiful game, definitely a game that uh, has some interesting take on city building in a way I've never seen previously, and I, I really love to say that it is really, really lovely. So what I'm going to do now is get myself a cup of coffee, um, and then come back and see what else is going on today. Uh, let me end one more time by saying if you enjoyed seeing this game or want to check it out more, there is a free demo. So if you uh, click on the link that's appearing in chat right now, you'll be able to uh, go over there, see a little bit more about it, maybe buy yourself a copy if you like it enough. Um, I think it's a game that's still in development, so there will be uh, more modifications in response to player feedback, I do believe. Uh, but thanks for hanging out with us on this game. I'm going to take about a two or three minute break to get some coffee and then be right back for other games of other sorts. So thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, maybe stretch a little bit. For the first time in a very long time, I'm actually using the AFK screen. What, 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 what? All right, that will sit there back in just a moment. Thanks for being here, folks. Appreciate y'all.
Hello there. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. So I got my got my coffee. Got my coffee in hand now. Got to figure out to play now. Ah, camera. There we go. Good to see you. Give me a minute to turn off the bulwark. A number of you have suggested that I'm probably gonna play backpack battles. Ah, ah. I mean. What else are we going to play? We only have an hour and 15 minutes to play the stream. I need a game that's pretty fast to do. So, uh, let's see, let's see. i to change directories over to... Uh, Well-dressed, poorly played. I didn't have a chance to play that much yesterday, honestly. So, hopefully today we do even better than ever before. So, Backpack Battles? Very... Uh, backpack Hero. What's that Backpack Hero? Absolutely not. Backpack battles tomorrow though i swear we're not gonna play backpack battles tomorrow i swear we're playing millennia the lovely uh new parox game and the board backpack battles will never be set on stream tomorrow i guarantee guarantee okay should be loading now very good very good i owe you all puppy run i suppose i do Oh, <laughs> so you might say, Resorty, why is your game not full screen? And I will tell you, because <laughs> someone may have decided that during a faculty meeting yesterday, he had absolutely no interest in paying attention, and so while other people were talking, he was playing backpack panels. <laughs> And then someone may have had a meeting with a psychiatrist and decided to spend that time, you know, let the psychiatrist talk some and answer the questions in uh, monosyllables and then, uh, you know, play in some backpack battles. <laughs> uh, one second. There it is. Naughty, naughty. It's true. <laughs> naughty, naughty. All right. So unfortunately, my accursed uh, ranger is still gold. Pyromancer's at 37 Platinum, 21 Platinum on the Berserker, 82 Silver on the Reaper. Let's warm up, let's warm up with an old, uh, old, uh, Ranger game, and then go ahead and do some Berserker for Puppy Run. Alright, 11.49 now. I need to leave here by 1.50, no, by 1.50. I have to eat lunch. Okay, we got time, we got time, we got time. Hey, it's a whetstone. Will I be trying to force the cross uh, sword again? The answer is no, I'll try not to, but you know, one never knows how they're gonna go. Uh, grabbing things that are on sale because they're more or less free. We'll grab the banana also from healing. Put the banana with the berry to speed up some. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Twiz Amber, how's it going, my friend? Good seeing you. All right, they have two weapons, so do I. They have poison. I do not. A winner is Riz. Good. Good to good. This is a really early bow and arrow. This is incredibly early, actually. Um. I mean. Can I even fit it into my bags currently? <laughs> um. The answer is I believe I can't without junking items I care about. So I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna buy Yield Piggy. I'm gonna buy the bag, and then next round we'll buy the Bow and Arrow. So I, I guess we're going some kind of luck build with that so early. Hooray, two wins. And another whetstone. All right, so we at least have the hero's sword, not the long sword yet. We're getting some really interesting drops already. That's pretty cool. All right, so how do we make this thing work? Get rid of the piggy for now. I need one bit above. Unless I go like so. That does not work, does it? <laughs> All right, so one forward to there. Hooray! Okay, now this needs to be pointing at a weapon. <laughs> it needs to be pointing at a weapon that will um, cause it to gain additional damage. I'd like to move you to here, but I need to get this onto the sword to upgrade. I 
what if I move everything around some? Like so instead. Does that help even a little bit? Or does that, you know, make it worse possibly? <laughs> it might just make it worse. So I may have to save the boner for one more round so I can get the upgrade first. Unless. Unless. Unless we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it. Um, the coal is trying to become a torch. We don't want that right now. I could have also moved the rightmost bags down a step, possibly. Uh, piggy bank goes in. Lucky Clover for more health to get started. Berry in a very awkward spot, but that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Two weapons. Versus our three weapons. Starts with 75 health. We lose. We, 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 we lose. We lose, unfortunately. All that bonus health that early. Rough. Okay, so now the sword and the bow uh, nicely reinforce one another. Where the bow uh, gains additional damage. As the sword gives damage to the weapons around it also. Now, we can upgrade the piggy if we have some more bag space. We can also put this coal into the sword for now. I'd like some armor. Like, definitely some armor would be really, really cool. How about a bag? How about a bag indeed? So, Lucky Piggy actually does nothing yet. Because there's nothing I have that has a chance to fire. So we're going to keep it as normal Piggy, just to give the health bonus for now. And then eventually I'll need another one of these, so I'll grab it while we're talking about it. And that's just how it's going to go, I think. A lot of daggers. A lot of daggers. Uh, they're berserking already. I think we're good to go. Yeah, we're good to go. Three wins, one loss. <sighs> No hammer build. No hammer build allowed. No hammer build. Oh, you know what? Fortuna's Grace. I forgot that you need to upgrade the bow first. Because the bow then does give a bonus. Uh, has a chance bonus on something. But that is the correct way of setting that up. Bad round then. Uh, more speed on our good friend the bow. If I had a one by one, it'd be very helpful. Also, we have a chance of upgrading our sword again. Okay, we could afford additional food to speed up the banana. We don't have plus four, or I plus five luck yet, so the carrot does not get the bonus. Speedy gloves. Uh, Speedy Gloves could be Falcon Sword. So getting either the gloves or another whetstone gets us a better weapon. So I'll reserve that. Okay. Oh, I should move this banana over to here to get the bonus off of the blueberries. Hooray! Four and one. And now, when this weapon crits, sorry, when this weapon crits, rather, then this weapon gets a uh, another free attack. So I want another one of those Fortuna's Graces if possible. We still have nothing that gives a bonus to the Lucky Pig. As mentioned, you should go here. As mentioned, here's some gloves. I'd prefer these to be on the sword if we had another pair to make the Falcon Blade which attacks very, very quickly. More damage, one below 30 health, 30% 30 health weather. <sighs> All right, possibly two Fortunas. If two Fortunas, we don't need their weapons though for stamina related reasons. I'm gonna reserve it for right now and we'll see. Cheap blueberry, sure. We go as we go. Uh, we'll be harming ourselves on uh, 
seconds. It's melee only. It's melee only. So our bows do not uh, take spikes damage here, or set cause spikes rather. Nice. Very early to buy this, um, with no further luck. But I don't want to have it reserved forever. Our build is not better since last time. Here comes blind. Now, does blind only affect melee? No, it's accuracy generally. So we might just miss a bunch here. Yep. 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 Cop. Okay, so if we're going for bows, bows, bows. Oh, ads on screen, thank you. This is not an ad. This is not an ad at all. I'm not being paid a thing for this. <laughs> thank you for catching that for sure. <laughs> uh, can I get sued for that, for saying this is an ad? Possibly I can get sued for this. It seems likely. Whoops. Where'd the game go? There it is. Uh, take the hunter thing to get additional crit on, ideally, the Fortuna's Grace. As possibly. Another one? Three big bows? <laughs> Alright, so... We want this set up so there, there are weapons and items surrounding it. Now, the items can be bananas, of course. So anything speed would be really great. That's uh, so an item behind can be you and you. Uh, we're using all the slots except for the weapon slot right here. We can move this around like so. Now, if we move the bow out, the little babe bow, uh, it does not get its crit bonus then for being inside the bag. So either bonus crit damage or bonus chance of crit. I think we must stay with the bonus crit damage. So stay with the bonus crit chance rather. Uh, if we're doing that, we can move this like so and then have the berries share. If I set this up here, which is what we really, really, really want, then I'm gonna need to have a stamina bag or something going behind. One of the um, potion bags would work also. Okay. Not quite the bag I wanted, but it's okay. Can't go down any farther right now, so it'd be as is. Possibly more crits at full price. Um, yeah, having crit on this sword helps get bonus attacks on Fortuna's Grace faster. Now, is there anything that fires at start of round? The um, Whetstone does, but in that location we don't get crit anymore. So crit's preferable there. Save that pig. We gotta find um, two more, at least two more uh, Lucky Clovers. Oh, got turned off the uh, the ad copy from stream also. The chat's popping things up that shouldn't be there. We'll do that between rounds in a second. Another victory good. I'm actually miscapturing the window right now. Let me change how we're capturing the game. As you notice when I tab out, it's losing its control of the game, so now you should be able to see it more or less consistently. Right, so we need to turn off that timer. The ads are finally stopped. No more ads at all. Good. All right, so this allows me to do what I want to do, namely get the other bow in. Now their placement is not quite right. Well, it might count. Might count, actually. Because this piercing arrow, sorry, this um, bow and arrow counts as being an item for the sake of the piercing arrow having a chance of getting greater amounts of luck. Good. All right, sword friend goes here and give me a bonus to damage. 
to both of the weapons. Um, we could just have the whetstone here for one more free damage. I think I prefer that. We are now over stamina usage, but only by 0.5. So the banana staying here will be A-OK. -okay. Uh, I don't see myself using the baby bow anymore, so I'm going to junk that. We have a coal that we can throw here for now. And we have no open slots for more coal. I guess we can just throw daggers in. Armor would be super swell. We need to sell quite a bit to get there though. So this would be two back for six money and then sell one money's worth of something. Okay, let's remove this over one. It goes back in then. Move this up to here. We're no longer in great place with the acorn collar, but we'll fix that for a bit. Goodbye, pig. Uh, a little more survival fun. Um, we'll want to move the armor over left one if possible to get the acorn. Here, probably. Or we can go where the sword is. If it goes where the sword is, then both of our other weapons will crit more often. And their critting is obviously key to key to as much damage as possible. We'll see. Hey, how's it going, Malted One? Good evening to you. All right. We're at six wins. May we have a seventh win, please. Look at this luck build with all that luck. So much luck. I'm kind of wondering if I should have taken the uh, Nega Clover to guarantee the Clover pieces I need. Well, a win's a win. How about a free Clover? How about just one Clover? Well, we can go ahead and upgrade our sword from Hero's Sword to... Um, Hero's long sword. The only problem with doing that is then the sword is too long to fit between these. If it's too long to fit between these, we then only bonus one of the two weapons instead. But by plus four instead of the plus two. If it goes over here, we can still touch one of them and get a further bonus from the piercing arrow. I think I'd like that. All right, so speedy things, I would like to be speedy on that other bow. So time to deconstruct for a moment. I think we have to be like this. Okay, it's slightly awkward. Um, we need this other whetstone. But we may have to go without armor for a round. Just upgrade that. And I guess we'll have just one of these bows. The upgraded one. Get the chance of crit. No, no, other way. This weapon critting is what causes this to get its extra attack. So we need crits here instead. Okay. Uh... Do not see a way to fix this, fit this thing in right now. Wait, or we can go Falcon. So Falcon is very fast. It doesn't give bonuses to everything. Hey, Grant, welcome back. Charming game, absolutely. Charming slash addicting game all the way. So you attack twice. Things that you touch trigger faster. That's me preferable over straight bonus damage. Because I believe the hero's longsword just gives straight bonus damage, correct? Yeah. Ha. Never mind on whetstones. Yes to you. Yes to you. Falcon Blade is coming. Now, can I move things around to get my leather armor back in? Just move you over. Yes. But. I actually don't need this here at all. Okay, I think this will work. Ha! Ha! Okay. We have the whetstones, we may as well use them. Awesome. 
Uh, friends, the ad break's coming right now. We already finished today's crossword puzzle, and uh, someone has an impossibility of pulling himself away from this game. So three minutes of ads are running right now. You won't miss anything terribly exciting, just me going, oh no, why didn't we get crits? Uh, so, my apologies to play through the ad break, but here we go. I'm not even hiding it. Absolute shamelessness. Absolute shamelessness here. Our armor's down now. Do we survive past the hedgehogs? Oh, it was close. It was close. But the hedgehogs poked us to death. Darn you, hedgehog. Okay. We have one lucky bit we need. And then, deepest desire is this sword goes right here. Oh, it's four long, so it touches both of the blade or both of the bows. <gasps> Alright. Um, we need to remake everything possibly. First, may I find more bags? Or more luck. Hates a bag. Cool. How about some more luck? <gasps> bum bum get a bum bum. Alright, that is A plus yes. Absolutely wanted it. Now this is not right. This is potentially better. Oh, it's only three long. I thought it was four long, but no. Okay, so this weapon attacks twice. Anything it's touching triggers faster. For right now, we want it here for higher chance of critting off of this. Oh, this is where Lucky Piggy goes. Lucky Piggy goes on the piercing arrow to have a higher chance of raising luck, and higher chance of luck equals higher chance of crits. So Lucky Piggy, if I can get it in, I'm very happy. Though with no generation of Lucky Clovers, it's kind of unlikely. Uh, I would like to have a banana here. Drop a bow down one, put the sword beneath, or between. Oh, it's actually not a bad idea at all. So the sword's between, then because it's attacking twice, it'll help them all attack faster. But currently poking back and forth like this, they do have a chance of um, proccing double attacks over and over again. But I think you're right. Well, hmm. Only problem then is I can't... So if I were to put this sword in between, it would not then use the piercing arrow effectively. Now, does that matter? I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it as is. We'll see how it goes. If it doesn't work right, we'll then think about changing to here instead. Okay, uh, Banana just lives here with Blueberry Friend. Increased crit chance. Good. Good. Functional. Not perfect, but good. Uh, Dagger will be fine. I'm going to save it and reroll. Can the Sword Touch both both by dropping it two spaces four long? It's only three long, unfortunately. Yeah, if it were four long, it'd be amazing. It's only three long, though, unfortunately. I thought it was four initially also. Let me make a second uh, Falcon Blade. That's what we truly need this build. Our stamina is higher than we want, so we want to get more stamina items if possible. Um, I, I always undervalue bags. I'll buy the bag now. Let's see if we get some procs. The Chain Whip deals one damage for each buff you remove from your opponent. On hit, remove two buffs. They're gonna be stealing my luck. Hey, stamina problems. Hey, stamina problems. <laughs> hey, stamina problems. <laughs> All right, we may get rid of the Falcon Sword until we get some more stamina fun. Only 1.5 per second. 
So I believe Fortuna's Grace consumes uh, less stamina than the unupgraded version. Well, more crit, more good, thank you. I wish to go faster, faster, faster on my... My Fortunas, of course, but that will cause additional stamina problems. It's cheap, though, so sure, why not? And having this one faster is preferable. So let me put this... Okay, move everything down a little bit. Some damage one given those beautiful wet stones. Hey, stamina potion. Okay, clearly we need that. Uh, we'd like to go inside of the bag right there. So sell something for one. Uh, wet stones, I just spoke well. Oh, no. Coal. It's only one damage. Okay, don't combine yet. We're gonna have stamina problems, but we will survive a little bit longer than before. Yeah, the bird would be great for speeding the whole thing up, but I just need... I just need more stamina help. Lightsaber. Right, stamina's still fine. Stamina's not fine anymore. But we survived! We survived! Nice! Nice is nice! Alright, more bananas. Uh, I feel good about stamina now. So things I would like, ideally, would like to speed up this bow even more if possible. I mean, both of them obviously have to be amazing. We could get another colon. I'd far prefer to have the do more damage below 50 health. Uh, because stamina problems, etc. We could add another sword. <laughs> another luck generation sword. Um... Though we can stamina problems, definitely. It's only 0.7 more. Hmm, hmm. Uh, do I want vampire armor? It eats my health, I know. But how does it start the battle? Immediately convert 30 health into 60 armor. And then vampirism is gain health on attack of melee. So this sword alone be giving us lifesteal. It's more money than I have, unfortunately. We could sell back the whetstones. We would not get enough money, would we? They're two each. So give up another two damage per attack. Gonna do that. I might regret this, but sustain seems nice. All right, eight wins with two tries remaining. Ooh-wee! That's a lot of crafted things. I want a stun build. First stun. We got through a hundred armor. We're gonna die. We're definitely dying. <laughs> I do wonder... I do wonder if the developers would ever make this kind of build impossible. Because it's just so much armor. Um, proc is battle rage procs. As if to eat through all of the armor. Now, if we had, uh, you know, skip armor gems, that'd be useful, but... A lot of armor. A lot of armor. Alright, so we are now the vampire. I don't want to get it faster, possibly. Yeah, an armor build like that doesn't exactly break the game. The bigger issue is ones that are... The, the Excalibur constantly firing. Yesterday I was fighting against someone who ended up with 1,050 health by the end. The Excalibur was constantly proccing the um, uh, the cheeses. And so the fight went on for a little bit and they ended up with 1,500 health, or 1,050 health. And I was very, very sad about that. <laughs> it, was, it was not a happy moment for the home team. <laughs> All right, got one of you. We can just throw a rock in. Good old rock, let's go. I think that's all for now. Our last try. May I please get to 10 wins? Hey, it's our stun build.
Yeah, I do wonder if our self-harm is causing problems here. Oh, the stun. <laughs> oh, the stun. <laughs> Alright. We're gonna get, like, what, plus four points, maybe? Plus two points! I'm just not very good at Hunter, am I? Oh, My ranger skills are terrible, terrible, terrible. At least we moved up some points. Alright, I promised you all a puppy run. It is time for a puppy run. Ah, puppies like food touching them? Or is it only the, like, other puppies touching them? Puppies like puppies. They just want to touch our puppies. Cool. Um, the puppy item is called, like, the wolf master thing. What do you care about? Uh, empower... Resist debuffs, weapons are touching it, higher critical hit chance. So, food and weapon. Maybe fast sword, maybe big sword, we'll see. Ah, right, Berserker time, here we go. I guarantee you'll get some puppies. I no longer guarantee you'll get puppies. First shop gems makes me want to have so many sockets if possible, and puppies don't have sockets, unfortunately. Maybe no puppies, we'll see, we'll see. All right, so, um, piggies free. Broom is also free. Gem this early? A healing gem this early? We'll see how it goes. No banana, unfortunately, so they're gonna have more consistent healing than I am. Hey, we have our one regen now. Come on, just keep swinging. Oh, darn you, Mimi. Darn you, Mimi. All right, there's a banana. Also, we ended up with two green gems already. That's uh, pretty nice. Um, I think I'd like to stay in this setup just to gain that regen. Though the fight's not necessarily lasting six, <laughs> six seconds right now. <laughs> Uh, okay. Show. Show. Hello, banana. Alright, so I, I would like to end up with blue gems most of all. This does nothing. Good. If I don't get to later rounds due to my questionable weapon selection, the gem box means nothing. Hey, there's the proc. We have four whole regen. Just don't get crit, please. All right, they're having stamina problems. They're being healed. Okay. Who needs battle rage to get a win? Uh, we don't have a sword, so whetstone is not necessarily great. Um, spikes don't go... Any... Is there anything on the Berserker that gives spike bonus? I can't think of anything right now. The roll. Do we try Excalibur? I've never ever tried it. Not even once. Alright, more healing fun. We still need some better weapon. Wait, blue is go through armor. No shovel? Maybe I should go on shovel instead. I don't know. I don't know how to think about all the weapons available. Like, I always end up trying to build the the hero's sword. But yeah, maybe a, a shovel would have been a better way to get that additional line to get some free items, too. I believe we just lose here. Yeah, we just lose here. Yeah, shovel's good for economy. You get the free items. You're absolutely right. Would have been a good way to go. Hey, double blue, double fun. I can just throw a sword in. So many bags. So many bags. So many bananas. 
<laughs> I don't like this build at all. I'm not sure what I'm even doing right now. I got the gem box and my my head exploded. Became uh, drunk on the possibility of power. Uh, we got their potions now. We've yet to battle rage. There it goes. Good. Uh, so we got blue now, and we can combine these two for more life steal possibilities. Sure. Even better. Uh, yellow with attack speed could be fine. Uh, reducing damage taken, lower crit chance. I don't know. I almost always build Berserkers just do as much damage as possible. No Goobert? See, I don't know. I love Goobert so much, but I can never make Goobert work effectively. It's relatively early Goobert, but I don't know. He takes up a lot of space. And I always get confused on Hunter to combine him. Um, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> back to the pit, Goobert. Back to the pit you go. We can upgrade these gloves at least. That'd be pretty neat. We're having no stamina problems at all for our want of good weapons. <laughs> so, uh, eventually I'll use this, I'm sure. Yeah. I had a whole bit of heat, a whole bunch of heat generation into that pan swinging as fast as it possibly can. Luckily, we are blinding by sweeping dust in her face. Let's go and speed it up. We're not doing enough damage at all. No, 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 no. Okay. So as I said earlier, because of the power of gemstones, uh, I believe we went for large weapon. There is large weapon. And so and so and so, we say goodbye to the broom now, I believe. Incidentally, you'll notice I'm not even looking at this thing. I've never played Dancing Dragon. Uh, so the, the way this would be played is if we had um, Anvil. And then Anvil uh, gives flame. We get more damage for flame, etc. It's all pretty good. God. Goodbye, Broom. So we sure would like to put this sword inside of the the bag for additional speed, but bananas for stamina and healing more importantly. Also booties. Okay. That's kind of awkward. That's okay. Every single time I don't take a healing potion, I say to myself, man, you really should take a healing potion. <laughs> now, will that make me do so? P probably not. Man, you probably should have taken that thing. Man, man, man. All right, I see someone who does not have any gems. Of course, that someone does have a ability to build spikes against me. I need the axe to stop missing, please. It would be very helpful. There we go. There's their battle rage. There's mine. And we lose. Good, good, good. Good, good. Uh, armor would be super nice. How do we make armor work here? How, how, how do we make armor work here? So we now move you to here to get that. Um, gloves can go. Oops, gloves can go here now. It's very, very awkward. How about her bag? A. Down one. Actually, no. 
Doesn't really matter where it goes. Put the banana back in. Fine. Fine, fine. Thinking of second gem, ba uh, gem box, but probably not. Uh, looking for a second uh, axe, of course, or the upgraded big sword. Good. Okay. Um, we have three crafted items plus the gems, so we could possibly go blacksmith. I, I'm sorry, no pack leader. No pack leader. Or yes, pack leader. So pack leader... We can jam one of our big weapons into the side of it, but armor plus puppies takes up a lot of space. Sean wants to get more runes and more luck. And again, luck gives us crit chance. So I don't really do shaman. Let's learn how shaman plays. So. Every socketed gemstone gives one more luck. You consume two luck to get... Sorry, luck is accuracy, not crit chance. Um, except on the hunter. Uh, so two luck, gain five random buffs. We just need a lot of gemstones. That'd be socketed now, not just sitting in the bag. How about a big, uh, big axe? Ayy. Hey, how about it? All right, so this goes over, over. This is just for one round. They're not quite touching. Over oh, one more. There we go. The big axe, glorious. Um, f which is more damage? So for a round, the hammer's preferable to the sword because the hammer takes no stamina usage at all. I might throw away the, the sword. I'll keep it for right now, though. Probably should have taken the, um, the card there, the customer's card. Elephant Rune. Chance of stunning for half a second. I would like that, I suspect. Right now, though, we can get another Life Steely Gem upgrade. Poison and blind. The so tons of buffs showing up as the shaman's mask produces more and more. A win, a win, good. Our two weapons combined now, becoming upsettingly large axe, which I'd like to have sped up. not quite sure how to think about placement right now. This doesn't need to touch anything other than the speedy bits and the um, the bag there. How do I make you all fit in here? You're not going to work, are you? Yeah, I need additional space. I feel like that and like that, I believe it goes in now. That's pretty ugly, huh? <laughs> it's pretty ugly, huh, indeed. Uh, possibly of che uh, cheating on the armor. I have another bag also. Thanks for catching that. Okay, speedy gloves go here now. Another banana in the bag. Sure. Hammer returns. So additional boots. For additional chance to resist cold, I do like very much. We're at 1.1 stamina usage. I'll keep a little sword around for now also. Um, okay, opponent healing reduction, yes. Life steal on the axe, yes. I'm gonna go ahead and socket these two, even though yeah, I'm gonna sock these two, even though I do want to use them for health gain. Uh, I think it's better to have them give us the additional accuracy early. Is it actually 85? 
uh, it increases by how much each? 5% each. So we want to get to 100 accuracy if we can, which I think we're close to at least. Let's pull one more time. I mean, wet stone on the axe is never a bad thing, but I don't think I'm putting it in there right now with the current setup. Yeah, let's go. Hammer and single knife. I said I've never used crowns. I have used the crown now um, on... What build was that? I've used the crown on um, a Pyromancer build. Um, you just need to have at least, what, 10 mana, I think, to use it effectively. I'm going to end up with 8 mana on this thing. So, probably no crown, but... Got another little purple friend. Okay, so green buddy here. If we know we're fighting against a... Uh, Against a Reaper, I'd love to have the Sakodid. If not, perhaps less so. But we'll play the we're gonna fight a Reaper game every time, I guess. Uh, so with another stamina bag, we clearly and definitely need to add a weapon back in. We could go for the fancy fancy rapier. It would eat all of the luck. Uh, but in so doing, gain a ton of damage. It's 0.7 increase, so at 1.8 then. Do not know if stable, but kind of want to try anyway. So let's, uh, we need to have four money to buy it. So this is two, plus a stone is three, sell one gem. It is four long I believe, so let's move things around. Uh, what gem do I not care about? Um, the basic green. Uh, gonna be good, gonna be good. So ideally we want this inside of the uh, bag to speed up even more. And ideally, ideally we'd like it to be inside of um, the speedy bag also. Can we get that? Not while maintaining the banana speed, I don't believe. Okay, so bananas we need to go to here and there. There's then no especially good place. Yes, there is actually. Sorry, I live right here. We have one loose banana. And we need to assign this also. So we put this like so. Banana does not fit. Manic fit here. The pig is doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> so it may be time to say goodbye to that pig. All right. I've got some stamina-based concerns this time. Uh, but let's give it a shot and see what happens. We start with seven. We start with seven luck. The luck is consumed very quickly to get my rapier going. Every time we hit it, it does a little bit more damage. So it's building damage very fast right now. So we now have stamina problems. My axe has failed twice. Uh, it is a win ultimately, but these two weapons together, we need more stamina generation. If we're gonna do. Um, the artifact stone, you can throw one time. It also gives a bonus to cold on anything that's next to it. So we could have a chance of slowing down enemies with that weapon. It's very expensive. That does not help the stamina problems. Nothing here helps stamina. But cheese gives more health. Cheese gives health. We love cheese. Uh, in the immediate, um, we can move bananas like so. Stamina problem is still unresolved. Look at these swords. Look at this lightsaber with three speed, even more. I believe they win. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Wow. So the fancy sword ended up hitting for 30 and 40. 30 and I think a 40 on a crit even. Another lifesteal item. I feel like we're developing our gems very slowly this time. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is. Probably not buying enough gems. That does not combine. 
Increase crit hit damage, hit chance by 15, crit damage by 15 also. More crits, more good. I don't see, we have one open socket here. How about a banana or a stamina potion? This will combine with here eventually. When that's done, we can then combine off of here and get a um, flawless ruby gem. Another fanny pack just for space would be okay. Um, I can put it here to speed up the axe again. Okay, this raises some awkwardness about this thing's placement then. But I think this is an okay idea. I like this is preferable then. <laughs> when you're having stamina problems, making your weapons go even faster. That's how you solve stamina problems. <laughs> oh no. All right. So let's see if we survive through this one with some stamina problems. All right, they've got some nice stamina items there, nice stamina potions. Their armor's down. Just keep swinging. Oh, the stamina problems. Oh, good lord. <laughs> uh, it was pretty close. I'm pretty close despite the stamina problems. Uh, what does the badger gem do? Trigger faster or reduce damage during battle rage or items use less stamina. Items use less stamina, absolutely. Yellow gem is stamina generation also. So we have good stamina generation now. Fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. That will help a little bit. Not a lot of it, but a little bit. How about a stamina bag? Can a brother get a stamina bag? Is that a possibility? Because if I don't, I have to keep speeding things up. I believe I've gotten overly greedy in this run. <sighs> Alright. Our last try. What a beautiful weapon you have. Okay, I believe they're gonna end up with stamina problems also. It's just a matter of do we get hit by a giant axe before. 122 damage, all right. We get some platinum points, but I identified the problem there. We lose a point? We won six or seven of them, we lost a point anyway. I think I assumed that if you get over five wins, you at least stayed stable. They stole a point. All right, that's what I get for refusing to do puppy build and then trying very hard to get a, um, trying very hard to uh, go with gemstones. Let's go puppy build this time. I said we go puppy build. Let's go puppy build. Gotta give people what they want. Welcome to Platinum. I guess so. I guess so. It's a little harder than I thought. The game brought justice. <laughs> we lose points for not playing puppy build. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong. Alright, so early armor very cool, but I need another weapon. Excalibur. Box of Riches, Box of Riches. Their armor regen was very good. It's very likely that it was. Oh, hello, Pan. Ooh, these are putting out more damage than previously. This is free. I refused the box of riches because I promised puppies. Now, if only the puppies had gem slots on them, it'd be the best thing ever. We got very close to losing that on some misses. All right, is there a way to move things around so that we can have another uh, garlic touch in the pan? Not while maintaining the hammer inside the bag, but that's okay. What have I done? <laughs> Am I done? <laughs> All right, so the pan actually goes up one. Oh, it doesn't quite fit, does it? There we go. That works fine. 
on. Speedy, speedy, speedy for banana. We then fit another uh, piece of food in there. Hello. Uh, so now it's all panel time. We put sand back in again, get rid of the other item. There we go. Santa Claus has come to town. Santa Claus is a cursed armor. Let me close. All right. Whew. Got through the armor before fatigue set in. No losses yet. Two tries, two wins. I see cheap dagger. I want cheap dagger. I refuse cheap dagger. I see bag. I see banana healing. I refuse the banana. We have to think about what weapon we want for um, for puppies. Like a, a hero's longsword would not be bad at all. I believe the puppies count as weapons, which means that the hero's longsword gives them a bonus to damage. Is that true? The puppy is a melee weapon. Fantastic. So I'm thinking it is time for hero's longsword. Everything seems like mana. How do you gain mana? There's an item called the um, mana orb. That's the best way to do it. Um, you can also get a mana sword. The mana sword is um, the life stealing sword plus a mana orb, I believe. You also have mana potions you can get, uh, which I've never actually used. <laughs> I'm aware of them, but I do not use them. All right, blueberries also give a little bit of mana. Good call. Yeah, blueberries are the easiest way to do it. Then the mana orb, then the mana sword. Is a mana thirst, maybe? Uh, how about some whetstones? Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Fine. The whetstone is the addition here. Oh, I should have moved the hammer up. Uh, the hammer has no reason to be in this location. It would have gotten plus one to damage up here. Maximum pork build. I'm sure that's not, that's not any good for your health. Gotta have some nice uh, vegetables to go with your, your pork, I'm afraid. Also, why is there no apple in this game? Like, there's so many foods, foods, but no apples. Apples are like an obvious connection to include. Okay. Would like whetstone. Did not find whetstone. Move hammer to here as mentioned. Pan goes back in. Mm, awkward pan. Awkward pan. It's consuming all of the speed. There's probably a way to move it, but I'm okay with that. Blueberries! Blueberries! The one more open spot for food right there. Refusing big weapons. I will not get big weapons. I swear, no big weapons. Yeah. Are they more health starting out? Um, nothing to say other than they have stamina problems, thank goodness. Though I do also. Oh, all the stamina problems are actually mine. They'll be my stamina problems all the way through. Adding the sword and cause problem of the pan being sped up now. God, no goobert. No, no, no hammer. Uh, the hungry blade could be a weapon to use uh, for the puppies instead of the speedy sword. But the so I don't think of any puppies that give vampirism. So I think this uh, hero sword's a preferable way to go. I really don't need speed, except on bananas, possibly. Put this here. You're not touching anymore. I will touch here, though. Um, well, we can do that. Uh, we're not really using our bag effectively, because I've gotten so focused on the pan. 
you go to there instead, then you can come down like so. Like so is even better. Now, garlic is better here because it touches the banana also. Almost a full pan. Uh, now better stamina growth. And thank goodness for that. Health potion. A uh, health potion plus uh, blueberries. I'll tell you the mana potion. Mm. Okay. Flame flame knife. How are those debuffs gonna come? Maka Paka, what a name. All right, they're the stamina problems. So Poplin is getting rid of the sword's way to go right now. Because we are out of stamina on the pan over and over again. Yeah, I lose this one, I'm getting rid of the sword. Until we go puppies. Goodbye sword. Which means you, I, I guess, work on the hammer. Because there's no space to fit you into the, uh, into the pan right now. You want a food that's barbecue pork? A piggy and two burning coals? <laughs> that would be a little bit silly, but I like the idea. So speed will be useful for piggies eventually. It can replace this. For more speed, more good on the garlic. Or help the banana. Whoops. We can rotate. Rotate. Garlic goes here, that goes there. Cool, cool, cool. Couple little throwables, love those. Uh, I mean, gem for more damage is cool, but I don't intend to keep that pan long term. So we're just trying to survive to specialization so I can buy puppies. Oh, that jewel box. Oh, pure envy. Thy name is Resorty. They're doing no damage. Yeah, so the balance between stamina and damage dealing I'm struggling with recently. Alright, you want puppies, you get puppies. Oh, I forgot that we turned to pandemo pandemonium. Pandemonium, rather, when you, uh... When you put a corrupted crystal on that. Well, that's fine. Uh, puppies are not a possibility. Also a possibility is upgrading our sword. So pandemonium, you food into, into poison. I do not intend to do poison, so we want the sword. We want the puppies. I'm gonna do a complete remake. Alright, so the sword is the centerpiece of our fun right now. Just all of you go in the pile, please. <laughs> Alright, what a mess, what a mess, what a mess. Um, I guess I should roll for puppies for right now. With the money we currently have. I don't think we need stamina. If I get rid of the pan, which I intend to do. Hello, puppy! Courage Puppy is a melee weapon. Courage Puppy is ready to become Big Puppy. Hello, buddy. All right, so Courage Puppy can go faster to put you inside the bag. The bag goes here. I played with a new card they added. Where's the new card? I don't think I've actually seen the new card, wherever it is. All right, so you're a puppy. Yes, you are as you are. I want the hammer to be touching the puppy and the... Sword also. The sword is not leveling up yet. Right, so that is... Goodish. Whetstone, whetstone. 
Okay, let's then get bags and bananas. Mm, for to keep them more separated, so we have garlic in between to help speed everything up. speed up also. There's a new card called Jimbo, a card from Beltero that came to this game. That's cool. I haven't played Beltero yet, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Hey, HD, remember how I coached Chesterfield to promotion? Absolutely. And yeah, Chesterfield is now going up to, uh, to League 2. I really enjoyed uh, the Chesterfield playthrough of Football Manager. It was a great time. But uh, unfortunately... I'm cheering for our squad these days. I'm cheering for old Wrexham. What did I just do? Something the banana movement. Okay, so that's what we got currently. That's that's something. <laughs> Certainly something. Uh, if I sell one of these, I can keep battle rage going lo <gasps> going longer, or I can take the gloves and then speed the puppy. So probably Battle Rage longer is preferable right now. I'll save the gloves for next time. Fantastic. Here we go. Uh, Touchfield are 90 po points clear of second place. They are. Except they're not going to get to Wrexham's uh, most points in National League history ever. And thank goodness for that. Oh, that's a lot of armor. It's a lot of armor to get through. Uh, it is possible that we do not have enough weapons going right now. Yeah, remember the part where I had stamina problems and now I'm not doing enough damage to do anything? <laughs> Just keep tinking. Come on, puppy. Attack faster. <laughs> Uh, we just need more dogs. If we get more dogs, everything is fine. If not, we have some problems. All right. Puppy becomes armored puppy. Spikes. Cannot be blocked or triggered by spikes. We love it. All right. Speed up the puppy. These gloves cause the puppy to speed up even more. Yes, yes. Oh, I could have had my one stone in. I don't know why I didn't have that in the, uh, the bag. It would have given us one throw for a little bit of damage. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's what we got right now. Did not find any puppies. Maybe next time. We could sell garlic for puppies, I suppose. Uh, I probably set a rule for myself of buy nothing except for whetstones and puppies. Puppy! This is Wisdom Puppy, correct? So Wisdom Puppy helps with armor. We like that. So Puppy wishes to touch other dog. Puppy wishes to upgrade. Sorry, Puppy set, set up right, please. Uh, more armor swell. Too late for gems. Buy anything to lower my damage we're taking. Two puppies! Two puppies! <laughs> I should just go giant axe build. I know how to do giant axe build. If I go vertically, get both buffs. Oh, really? I thought it was only one buff per. Yeah, it's only showing as one. Oh, you mean Battle Puppy. Yeah, you mean Battle Puppy. Well, that's the end of the puppy run. <laughs> I gave you your puppy run. Are you not satisfied? <laughs> So the transition from uh, the transition from food and such to puppy was really really rough. All right, it's now twelve fifty six. I got to go in like fifteen minutes. So more puppies, more puppies. Oh, never mind. On sale gems, big weapon. Uh, go, big weapon, big weapon. So banana for stamina. I'm gonna need that absolutely. Uh, baby sword for now is fine. Sure, garlic is cheap. Yellow for attack speed, fine. Okay, let's go, let's go. 
I should probably not be doing this last run. I should probably be going to work, you know, but whew, barely win, all good. All right, second upgrade. Blue will inflict cold for not okay. Okay. Um, so second sword, we'd still be okay-ish on stamina, given the bananas. Uh, four plus three is seven, so that's all I could buy for right now. We could sell the garlic for a sword, but the garlic is my my armor. Here's where to move things so the garlic is touching both. Not that I can foresee. Round two. That's a lot of a lot of health to get through. Double health. It's kind of weird. Like early game, uh, the the bonus to health on the power mancer is huge, but at late game it becomes kind of inconsequential because the plus two health on each or plus five health is isn't that much. Yeah, yeah. Darn you, early game power mancer. Okay. If I'm going for giant weapon, then upgrade boots is a good idea. Ooh. Early armor, I love you so much. So I think I had an opportunity to buy early armor. I probably should have done so. Colin dead. <laughs> I mean, to be entirely honest, I'm not feeling like teaching today. We're at the part of the semester where my students are, like, exhausted and largely checked out. And so because of that, uh, they're just not really into the whole discussing thing. So there's a lot more me lecturing and telling stories than usual, which I don't mind exactly. It's just not the point of this class. So it's, uh, it's a strange thing we're doing with the whole, you know, not actually... Not actually having discussion in discussion-based class. Uh, more speed for eventual big weapon. More speed for uh, more 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 speed for eventual big big weapons. Big weapons coming. If I add the sword in, we go over stamina, probably. If I don't add it in, we go under stamina. Mm, it's fine. Colin dead. <laughs> yeah, this is the problem with living with one's boss, is she knows full well that I can't be trusted. Hey, we lost by one HP. Boo, video game. Boo. Uh, there's the armor. Sure like the armor. I have no idea how to fit it in right now. But that is the appropriate purchase. There's a way to fit it in right now. Potentially, at least. Um, so, it is in now. The hammer's not inside a bag. Slightly annoying. At least work out. Uh, yellow's attack speed or stun resistance. I fear the hammer. Come on. Goobert. Uh, Goobert's over healing like the Dickens right now. Uh, fatigue damage will settle this thing. Fatigue damage kills Goober. Thank you, fatigue damage. <laughs> uh, we got another delicious little blue. So we're on the way to getting additional um, ignoring armor. The hammer. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hammer on half sale. If we got this slightly earlier, I would have absolutely bought it. Hammer does not synergize super well with um, the anvil. I don't know how well it synergizes with the brass knuckles. 
It doesn't have that many gem slots, so it doesn't synergize well with, with Shaman. I think it only works if we get a bunch of daggers. So I'm going to not take it, though gosh, I want to so badly. Okay, we can upgrade our... Um, our sword, at least, for more damage. I think that's all for now. It's a nice big weapon you have there. Little NBC, your big weapon. I think we win this. I no longer think we win this. <laughs> Okay, so at least we have the hero sword now, which gives a bonus to damage to itself and the neighbor there. Uh, okay, faster attack speed is what we really need. Move you down as well, or better yet, like that probably. Help with stamina is not important, so stun resistance is fine. See blue by blue. Ignoring the fanny pack, I just need a bigger weapon. I just need a bigger weapon. Can a brother get a bigger weapon? I refuse to go pan. Uh, longer battle rage. Fine, 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 fine. Not great placement. So we don't get a bigger weapon. What do we do? Like, what else can you pivot into without a big weapon? From where I am right now. Like, continue hoping for whetstones, I guess. Maybe... Try to buy a store customer card thing? We're down to one try left. Alright, Fighter at least gives stuns and increases accuracy on our weapons. Um, fine, 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 fine. Hey, it's a bigger weapon! It's not the biggest of the big, but this will at least work. So... Time for the world's greatest remake, I believe. Uh, everybody goes away. Giant axe. Oop, gotcha. Baby sword. hammer in there also. Alright, so chance of stunning, also gaining more and more accuracy, so we shouldn't miss too often anymore. Past that, doesn't really matter where stuff goes, but like a banana in this corner, of course. And past that, wherever anything goes, it's fine. So we do not have speedy gloves. I believe that that is that for now. Hey, under a little blue. Nice. We're on the path now to creating better armor, ignoring weapons. We're looking for either the Buster Sword or the second axe, a double axe. Yeah. I saw a few misses. At least we got a win, though. Uh, those combine now. Fantastic. Put these greens together. Good. More armor. Don't mind it. I should grab the stamina potion. Do not know why I didn't do that. That was definitely just not quite thinking. Uh, at least we have some stamina possibilities. How about a bigger axe? No luck. Yeah, I do feel like I'm fishing for particular builds instead of just building whatever I happen to see. Um, I don't quite know how to do better on that. It worked out, though. Uh, friends, our ad break is coming right now. Uh, we're going to play our through the ad break. This is the last bit of today's stream. Just finishing this... Uh, this bit here and then all done. So thanks for being here. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you're having a good day. Let's get some stun resistance, hopefully. And uh, yeah, 
Now it's just a matter of hoping for that second big axe. Or I guess we could have that uh, Hungry Blade also. No. Sure, damage needed, daggers are fine. May as well buy that. Five wins, two tries. Pyromancer, Pyromancer, Pyromancer. Pyromancer, Pyromancer, Pyromancer. So we got us into uh, Battle Rage before Gun Through Armor. Rough. Pyromancer, so good. Okay. Hey! And on sale too. Alright. This is a nice moment. This is a nice moment. The game has rewarded me for my patience and belief. Does it amount to a victory? I have no idea. We just need to get through one round. The weapon gets very, very large, very, very powerful. I have a ton of open slots for attack speed. Um, so really, it's just a lot of attack speed or possibility of going through armor. I think going through armor is the way to go. We have a spare red, we can buy a green, but no. Okay, in a moment, our sword will have to move up a slot. It can do that. More battle rage, fine. All right, time to pray. Any gods in whom one begins, please finish this before the poison gets overwhelming. 51 damage. Just keep swinging. Just keep swinging, you can do it. One more hit. One health remaining. One health, it works out. A big blade. Lovely. Got so many slots now. Sure like to have additional... Um, uh, additional blues. And may as well grab these for a little more health. May as well grab that. Looking for stamina potions still. May as well grab that. Uh, we have more speed also. The only problem with putting our speed in here is... Actually, it will just fit if I move the health potion elsewhere. He's actually doing it. Can you believe it? Do you believe in miracles? I don't think I do. Ah, oh, Pan! Pan, no. Pan, no. All right, just skip the armor. You'll be fine. Uh, luckily, no cheese. Or one cheese. So multiple cheeses get very silly off Excalibur. Because they proc constantly for more and more health. We're going to lose anyway, aren't we? Oh! All right. Another five and four. Or six and four, rather. Womp, womp. All we've done is lost points today. Why did I even queue up? <laughs> Friends, I probably should go teach. I should probably go teach. So I'm going to go teach. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for enjoying a round of resorty. Can't get any luck. Let's unlock one more, uh, one more bit for our berserker. Surely a new bag is what she needs to do better. Uh, friends, thank you for hanging out on a very silly stream day. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to play some Millennia. Tomorrow we're going to play the new uh, Paradox published Civ lookalike. They're apparently a very different game. We'll see. For now, though, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. See you again real, real soon. Goodbye, friends.